Hello, everyone. Crystal hug! I forgot to turn on my camera. <laughs> hug! <laughs> I'm good at this whole streaming thing, you know? Nah. I've been away for... Uh, since the last time we played Divinity. <laughs> <laughs> And right off the bat, uh, Gaze has redeemed Give Us a Wah, so... Hi, everybody, on my stream, Crystal's stream, Fox's stream, if Fox is streaming. Uh, I'm gonna give you to the count of five to lower your volume, and then I'm basically gonna scream into the microphone. Uh, you have been warned. You'll One, just put it into chat two, when you're done. Yeah. One, two, three... There we go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Ribbit. Group. Yeah. Hope, uh, hope. I hope it was good for you, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. The moment you announced while the ad started playing. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, oh, good no. sir. How you doing? Uh, how yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Well, you fantastic just have to redeem That's again, good to don't hear. you? <laughs> Glad to hear it, Gaze. Trespass it's not. good to be back. Here be witchery. Trespass not. Trespass I, okay. Okay, hold on. I want you to listen to that real quick. Here be witchery. Trespass not. Trespass there's not. Like, there's an echo when it says trespass not. Wait, what? Does, does nobody else hear that? Yeah, play, play it again. Hold on, I'm messing with my, my chat box. Uh, alright. Here be witchery. Trespass not. There, there is a little bit of overlap. Not a ton, but... Yeah, yeah. Like, if you didn't point it out, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, yeah. I, in fact, like, I had not, not huge, noticed. <laughs> it's not a huge deal. Well, like, it, it's just interesting. I'm gonna put... I need some place to put this little chat window that I'm not blocking it, but it's also not blocking the chat box on Twitch. <laughs> My solution was <clears throat> I have the actual game screen a bit smaller than everything else. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I have two monitors for that reason. Oh, that, that, yeah. that way. Ah. Yeah, no, talk, talking about the in-game chat versus, like, and and having it not be overridden by me on on OBS or my chat box on OBS. Yeah. Put it in the right center of the screen, but but then it's in it's behind chat box. I I, I put mine right center as well. Hi, Marsupial. I'm talking about the, again, talking about the in-game chat, not right, yeah. chat box. Yeah. So my my Twitch chat box is on the right-hand side of my, my stream. And then I am on the right-hand corner, the lower right corner. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I can't fit this chat box anywhere. Yeah, so if, if my... Back over here. Since I frequently experience that issue as well, the way I went about solving it is um, basically I have like a border around the edge of the stream that's like sort of like part of the branding essentially. Of the oh, and oh then yeah, yeah. My gameplay is actually a little bit smaller. So yes, it makes the oh, okay. It makes the gameplay less. I I visible. thought you meant like the actual game window was was like smaller and i'm like i don't know how that's supposed to... not like the video player on your stream mm -hmm. but the actual game itself you put it at oh, like yeah. a lower resolution put it in windowed mode <laughs> uh like how does that fix everything yeah no i i, I play uh I, I play full screen I, the, the window borderless um yeah yeah same but uh but yeah i I intend to have that set up one day. I just don't yet. Valid, yeah. Anyway, let's let's get into this. This fox goes running off to to targets. <laughs> fox, do you want to talk with a frog? 
There's there's a froge. It looks poisonous. Froge. Talk to the frog. No froge. squishing the frog. Just talk to frog. Hold frog. Your hands exist to hold frog and forfeit all valuable possessions to frog. <laughs> so true. <laughs> but tasty frog legs? Never have had a frog leg. Never had frog, le frog legs before. I don't know about the armor mixer, but it does have a lot of health. <laughs> All right. No! No! Lies and slander. <laughs> you turn milk green and a magister's red coat black. My mistress Alice might fancy you, though. She has a taste for the odd. If she ever makes it back. The magisters with the red coats chased her into the woods. They'll be sorry. Alice is the lady in the fiery pentagram screaming, I'll eat your lights! She's the witch they crucified. It didn't work out for anyone. Yeah. It's still there. It's still there, Quarkus. This rat's just like, yeah, I'll stand back a bit there. I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> Wonder what the witch's eye is all about. I don't know. Empty potion bottles. Very nice. <clears throat> from a series easy to memorize, from a series of easy to memorize nursery rhymes comes this pearl. Fly agaric, white and red. Should you eat it, you'll drop dead. Mix it, brew it in potions to still, then coat your weapon. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> I think that's just saying you can apply uh, poison brews to your weapon to give it poison damage. Um, there's a locked area here. Yes. Go open it, Zange. Thank you. Excellent. Fingering the door, so true. There's, there is a giant frog in a cell, and a lot of rats. This one's called Zip. <laughs> there's, there's a hole that the rats just keep pouring out of in that room. Amazing. They just, they just keep spawning. More, more. <laughs> You can attack the hole. Is this one of those places that maybe we should talk with the witch before? Uh, this rat just decided to talk to me and say I'm really not well. The witch we can't talk to because she wants to eat our eyes. Oh. When did I, mean, I miss this? <laughs> She was the crucified lady that's like roaming around on her crucifix. Oh, she that's killed one. Fox. She killed Fox instantly. Ah, <laughs> I, I didn't realize that that was the witch that's here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Everything okay? Don't, don't touch the rats. They explode. That's uh, why there's so many rats. They are the trap. Fun. Rats. Rats. <laughs> Get in there, Fox. <laughs> yeah, Don't they touch keep the rats. Proceeds we to gotta, walk through all the rats. We gotta destroy the holes. Otherwise, the holes. Otherwise, they just keep spawning. Okay. And you're just killing yourself doing that. Um. Okay. Thank you for your sacrifice. It was much appreciated. Uh, okay. <coughs> Fox, I should probably. How heal are you, you doing, Lee?
but if you destroy the hole, you make it bigger. No, 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 it's magic. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you won't take it off me. Hmm. The book! Alice's book! You won't take it off me! I like that the little thumbnail for the frog, like, actually has a little bit of electricity there. Mm-hmm. Agreed. This one's well, the frog is the frog is right. I won't be taking it off of it anytime soon. There's poisoned pumpkins down here, cloves of garlic, spider leg skill book. Examine. Immunity to frozen, stunned, slipping, shocked. Fully resistant to air, 30% resistant to water. Oh, okay. Said I wouldn't take it off it. There we go. I couldn't do anything else with it, so I was just like, all right, dead. <clears throat> I like that there's poison pumpkin and poison pumpkin part. Yeah, I know, right? Up here. Read witch's potion. The witch's chicken scratch handwriting is filled with antiquated language and arcane symbols. You understand that elements of this text relate to polymorphing, but you cannot piece together the scholarly concepts. Oh, me, me. That's me. I'm scholar. I thought I was as well. Hold on. No, no, I'm the only scholar. No, you're right. I'm I'm Mystic and Jester. That's right. Uh, yes, there you go. Uh, read. Um, you can't piece together the mystical concepts. Oh, God, we need scholar and mystic. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, is that something that I can just drop points into temporarily? Nope. 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 That once you once you pick your tags, that's it. They're done. Okay. Uh, Leith Yuki is talking in game chat, which is uh, over on the left hand lower left hand corner. Some of it might be might be hidden. Look that up. <clears throat> um, we might still be able to piece this together. I picked up an eye. Izangi, you picked up an eye before, right? I have an eye. Is it just a regular eye, or is no, it specific? Eye. It is the witch's eye. <coughs> this is a potion brew. I'm betting we have to do something with this cooking pot. Uh, Fox, it's a book that I picked up from the frog that details a potion, but we can't read it because we have to have Mystic and Scholar on one character. Is this a thing to look up? <laughs> Combine with. Um, oh, the goblins are gonna love this. What was that voice line? The fuck was that? The goblins are gonna love it. So, what? Soundboard. Soundboard. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I was very confused. I'm like, what in game? Okay, whoever is doing that, please don't. That's that's like actually messing with me. And please don't do that. Which is brute Divinity uh, Original Sin Two. No, no, no! Don't don't look it up yet. Don't look uh, it up. Okay. So Izangi, okay. interact with the uh campfire here because there was a giant cauldron and i'm betting we need to use that so combine it with so uh pick up this cooking pot big <clears throat> cooking pot big okay. huge uh so pick, pick up the cooking pot i have the thing in the uh combined menu thing already okay um are you talking about the campfire then exit out for just a second and then pick up the cooking pot. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, combine the campfire, the cooking pot, the witch's eye, and that skill book. Hmm. <laughs> it's a polymorph skill book that I found in the desk. 
nothing capping. Do you, did you, can you combine with the, the skill book? I tried. I have them all in the same thing and not like okay. nothing. The okay. Valid combo. Okay. Um, what if we tried here? Uh, send it back and send over the witch's eye. <clears throat> Because maybe I need to use an empty potion. Wait, didn't we have a different eyeball? The one you pulled from the uh, frog or something? Uh, yes, but I'm wondering if the witch's eye needs to be specifically. Um, I remember there was something I did. What? Where did... Did you send back the... I sent skill? over everything I'd had. You sent the skill book too? I think I did. My... Wine barrel. I might just send the eyeball. I've hundred yeah, weight zero gold. Send me the, you send oh, me the I, uh, skill. Yeah, I sent you quick. everything. I think. Okay. Where did it go? I was about to say it should be at the bottom of your bag. Yeah. It's not. That's weird. It's yeah, next there. To cook pot. There it is. But it wasn't in my combined menu. That was weird. weird. Combine with that, an empty potion bottle. Witches, chicken scratch is illegible and cannot understand anything from this. Yeah. No. Okay. I have. I have no. No idea what it is. Yeah. All right. If, you, unless other people have ideas, then I'm good to got the answer. So it looks like the one character that's able to read it without like, cust like I I don't know the recipe, but the one character that can read the book without like a custom <laughs> backstory, right? The the custom characters is Fane. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, of course. Does does it tell you what the actual like ingredients are? Because we can still um, we can still make the thing if we know what what we're trying to make. Witch's eye, bulletus, and augmenter. Witch's eye, bulletus, and augment. Okay. Um, do I have? I have augmenter. Bluegill. B O L E T U S. Bulletus. Yeah, I do not have a bulletus. Uh, we might need to go. Let me go back to town. That is a type of mushroom. Yeah. Apparently. I've sold it a few times, so. Gotcha. Me... I do not know if I've <clears throat> ever seen that mushroom before. <laughs> Leith, this is in. This well, is. This, I have two mostly... of them in my pockets right now. Oh, you have two? Uh, send me over one of them, please. And, Leith, this is a... Uh, this is an LGBTQIA group, except for Izangi. Then then again, I don't know if Izangi's bisexual or not, but that's... No. Up to... Okay, yeah. Wasn't... So, Izangi is the only straight cis person here. The other... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh... Well, I mean, Lith, this is this is a private group. We're not. We other people can't join this one. Yeah, it's exactly four people. Yeah, and we have four the, people. Yeah, like we're we only meet up in the voice chat to like have a place to, uh, to chat. That's 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 it. Um, you know, this this is just the group that we play this game with. But, uh, all right, so you sent the bulletus, okay. <laughs> Combine with Witch's Eye, Augmentor. All right, Witch's Brood Potion. Effects um, it unknown. Says, it says we should save before trying it out. Okay. Uh, I actually do know what it does. Well, don't, don't spoil it. <clears throat> Just so that like, uh, each of us could try it if we want to. Yeah. Hello. I popped out of your pants. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> where, where I've always been. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. LTI of the list. Nice. For, you know, for me, I am B and T. Yeah. 
I should should say B L of the T. B L and T. Because I am a bi lesbian, as I as I refer to it. <clears throat> My identity would get me crucified on certain parts of Twitter. Pan lesbian. <laughs> My my I, I hate that discourse. Yeah, no, I it, fucking hate it as well. Uh, you're you're being lesbophobic by using it. No, no, I'm not. You're being lesbophobic because straight guys would use it to uh, try to convince lesbians that they're actually bisexual. That's a straight guy problem. That's yeah. not <laughs> my issue. Like, like I don't personally give a fuck that's not my issue like i'll absolutely argue against straight guys using it that way if they do oh, it around me you're, you're transphobic well, like, because of the 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 bi lesbian like it like what uh -huh. yeah the discourse is so fucking stupid i found right. that was i'm talking to <laughs> we're back at the uh basement um Oh yeah. I was about to use the potion once you get back. Yeliath, I'm I use the the bi lesbian more as a descriptor because like I am bisexual. There are guys that I am interested in, but I am far more interested in women. About the only guys that do it for me are femboys. That's that's mm -hmm. it. I don't like masculinity. I don't like the average guy. And yeah. Like I could go around and every time say I'm pansexual homo romantic, but like that's a lot of words. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas pan lesbian, it just sort of rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it does. Who are y'all talking with? It just says that you're talking. Oh. Pair, pair of cows. Double click on his ungi. Oh. I know, Georgie. I know. Now shut up. <laughs> Look, we really do need your assistance. Just get us something to drink. Shut up, shut up. Can you hear us whispering? <clears throat> Is that there's a cure for our condition? Alice Elysian has it in her house. Alice Elysian. We could then regain our former forms, as it were, and steal away. Is that the potion we just made? That might be the potion we just made. For God's sake, Geraldine. Yeah, ask if they want the good news. Good news, definitely. Shush, Geraldine. What's the bad news? Goody. Let me guess. There's only enough for one of us? Yeah, thought so. Well, that's no good. You have it, Geraldine. Oh, Mabel, I couldn't do that. I insist. <laughs> okay, They're then. gonna go back and forth on this. I'll have it. <laughs> Mabel gives Geraldine a side-eyed look. Uh, you know what? This is actually a thing that they do in, like, every single Divinity game, is eventually they will they will put you in a position to choose between two people. Typically, it's two dying people. Mm -hmm. And in the first game, you could actually find a way to cure both, but in every game after that, you have to make a choice. Interesting. But, uh... I like that they flipped that they made fun of themselves and flipped it on their head by by having them both be like, "No, you take it." No, 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 you take it. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I think since I already have one, if you give me the other one, I can cure them both. You Wait, already what? have one? I found one sitting on a shelf. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, do we want yeah, to try me... the potion first, and then since and then, we saved, we can then try... apply it? Yeah. Let me. Let me save here, and I'm gonna drink the potion. I'm a cow! <laughs> and you're smelly. Yeah, I'm smelly. Smelly. I think Cowful. I'm a cow for it. I think I'm a cow forever. There's no time limit on this. <laughs> or at least until you die. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cow so... form permanent. <laughs> yep. 
All right, so load game. <laughs> yes, Fox, Excellent. you can now milk me. I can milk you. The, the Markiplier <laughs> meme. <laughs> I can milk you. There, there's so much mileage with that one look. clip. <laughs> look, look, Fox, we could always milk each other, all right? That's that's just a fact. Lewd. <laughs> Don't worry, Crystal, we can milk you too. No. <laughs> uh. Just come here, Chris. It's okay. Just, just give us a hug. Come on. Hugs are fine. All right, uh, Izanagi, I sent you. I sent you the book. Treated like cattle. No, Leith. Leith, believe me, I understand. I, I am autistic as well, so I get it. Yeah. Has autism issue of oversharing stupid levels. Yep, yep. I cannot simply explain a a situation. I have to give you the whole context behind the situation because you know what? You're gonna fucking need it anyway to understand it. Right. I should be listening in on this. These will take effect any moment now. I can't thank you enough. They're going to explode, aren't they? Thank you. Thanks enough. My potion's starting to work, Mabel. Here we go. I'm waiting. Oh, hey! There. Okay. Can you talk with them again? To be honest with you, I was kind of expecting it since <laughs> you're a bit more beardy than I was expecting. That'll teach you to make assumptions then, won't it? True. Going off the voices they had when I was talking to them as bovine, I kind of expect <laughs> am the ass in that situation, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Back upstairs. So now I have the next piece of that tablet for getting the blessed version of those feathers. The blessed oh, feathers? What? Vulture feathers for the uh, craft no. armor. Hold on. There's there's a diseased chicken in this field. Hmm. <laughs> the ugly little <clears throat> bird. My feathers are molting. My wings can't carry me anymore. I, I could treat so disease. Cold. Yeah, like we'll have you do that once I finish talking to it. Mm -hmm. It painstakingly attempts to flap its spindly wings, failing miserably. I doubt anything can remedy how terrible I feel. <laughs> right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Come on over and cure it. Yep. Give it um... the kiss of life. Diseased, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Diseased. So I can perform. Actually, you could probably do it too, Knuda. It's first aid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to do it or? I'll I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Here, back back away. Sure. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, just so it doesn't like home in on you. Here you hmm. go. Minus what? five. Oh, it took I damage. Hurt... Wait, is it undead? Yes, it is. It's an undead chicken. Go ahead and talk with it again. Let's see what it is. Hi, Liz. Thank you for the sub. Oh, thank you for the five gifted subs. Damn. You've gifted a total of 80 in the channel. Thank you, Liz. Do we have another way of getting rid of disease? Is there something else um... that we can do? <laughs> Oh, now here comes uh, Wesker screaming for a minute straight. I could do cryogenic stasis, maybe. Does that cure diseased? It removes most status effects. Yeah, try it out. Should I poison it first? To... No, it shouldn't do No, that. no, because cry cryogenic uh, actually does heal undead. We, we learned that. Yeah. 
Nope. Thank you, Lisk. Didn't get rid of diseased. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna... Yeah. No spirits in the area. I should have checked for uh, magisters first, but... Turned out fine. <laughs> The birds head droops miserably. There's no better offers on the horizon. <sighs> All right, then. Do it. Just try and make it quick. Hmm. I don't want to kill it. Hmm. Blessing I... it would not get rid of diseased, right? I don't think so. I'm going to try it. It did! No, it did not. No, it didn't. <laughs> It did for it, just a second. <laughs> it did for a second, yep. Finish this. Is there anything else that we might have? What's the name of this quest? I'm not going to look anything up. Just wanting to uh, look at what uh, the quest description says. I think it was, yeah, the ugly little bird. You tried fortifying it. Oh. <coughs> Uh, I have sure. not tried. Uh, fortified doesn't help diseased, I think. Uh, it does. I read the thing. It said cured by fortified blesser uh, first aid. Oh. That's for decaying. Mm -hmm. nope. nope. It immediately went back. He wants. Now, here's the thing. He says he wants to be warm. And the quest line says warm the bird up. It's desperate for warmth. So. Uh, Fox, how much damage does your does your burn ability do? We we want to make sure it doesn't die from it. That's the main thing. Okay, I've got I've got one that does half that damage. So let me uh let me just throw this at it. This is gonna burn, right? Fire damage in a two meter radius. Set There's a chicken turns. next to it that just says empty. <laughs> oh yeah, hold on, wait. There were three of them, and I picked through their pockets. <laughs> oh, it is dead. I burned him. It and it created... Blessed fire. Yeah, okay. Is... is it dead? Oh! Oh! A phoenix egg! Oh, shit! Oh! Phoenix egg. Huh. I was not expecting that. Examine the egg more closely. Wonder aloud what you could do with such a rare find. Chicken turned into an egg, it did indeed. Yeah. The chicken or the egg problem uh, got a lot more complex. <laughs> well, what, if the chi what if the egg previously was a chicken? Uh, you you all get a say. So make your vote. Consume it or safeguard it. Uh, I would say safeguard. Oh, wait. Yeah. This egg could be precious beyond our understanding. It should be safeguarded. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. I think you earn a skill from eating it. Which I don't think you would find very useful. Yeah, not unless I was a pyromancer, I bet. No, I think it might be... I think it might teach you Phoenix Dive. It would be a Keep the egg safe. That would make sense. Let me get my skillet. <laughs> Fox goes on it. Keep with my character or go on impulse. Roll play. Roll play. <laughs> <laughs> this point, I figured your character just was you. <laughs> my secret to role play is I just play myself because I get to <laughs> already live my wildest fantasies of just. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wow, I actually get to help people? I know, right? 
Eating a phoenix egg is quite a claim to have to your name. If this little egg can make it, well, maybe we can too. I'm gonna keep it safe. More people voted for keeping it safe, so place it in my satchel. <laughs> Got some scaly phoenix egg, so we just need to give it time now. All I wonder right, if it's then. a new summonable companion for you then. That would be cool. Uh, Phoenix. We'll find out. Don't don't look it up. Okay. <laughs> I, I was just going um, to look for how long. That I wasn't gonna see but, what it did. Yeah. Just. <laughs> to, yeah. No. I admit. I I don't. I wouldn't mind that information. Yeah. How long do we have to wait? Also, uh, Jehan is over here. We should go talk to him because he wanted me to be able to control more source. Yeah. <laughs> We need to deal with the ogres that the uh, ogre? Um Yeah, we gotta deal with trolls. the level the level eighteen bridge troll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Burn it with fire or kill it. Those are the two options. And I guess kill it would just kill it, but burning it with that, fire makes it the phoenix. Well that was the chicken. Right, that was for the chicken. Um Yeah, I don't think that's the egg. That seems like something that would be like end game type stuff and then you could it'll carry over to your next save or something i don't know the phoenix egg maybe I, i'm not certain i'm not certain if this game has a new game plus that's a good question actually It's does it it does its thing after you beat the game in the epilogue. Oh, okay. So we can yeah. we're just gonna carry this thing for the whole game. Alright, yep. that's fine. That's yep. You can alternatively sell it, but that's not the good ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's worth a pretty penny, but we're gonna make I'm already sitting on eighteen thousand gold. The fuck yeah. do I care? <laughs> exactly. Twenty twenty five hundred base price for what it's actually going to be worth in shop is not worth is not worth. Oh, hey, there's a lot of stuff I should identify. <laughs> and yes, Fox, there is a demon dog in the cage. Shame. 49 magic armor, plus one uh, aerotheurge, and plus one geomancer. Hmm. Perseverance. What's perseverance? Perseverance is the one that gives you armor or magic armor when you come back from certain status effects. Oh. My current amulet is giving me perseverance. They'll talk themselves out of that cage if you let them. You'll be their key before you know it. He's probably. Alright, Jehan. Uh, tell me more about Dr. I met Dave. him once during a soiree in Arcs. Quite the eccentric is Dr. Deva. He looks you up and down. Aren't we all? Okay, no. I, he does want us to go to the island. He he was the one who gave us the quest. I thought he just wanted me to control more. So. He smiles like one would at a child asking about the birds and the bees. I know because I've known others like you. Those whose fates are chained for better or for worse to that of the gods themselves. I have battled the foe of foes and conquered it for a while. I have sat in perfumed gardens with the source herself, drank life from her very Interesting person. Seen well over two thousand springs, and will continue to do so until time hey, cloudy. itself closes its weary eyes. We do. Uh, Knuda Trust slows me. up. I know what you are, and what you can be. Can be. It is a place. I like his voice actor. Like this yeah. is really good voice actor. Once the mm -hmm, site mm -hmm. of an academy dedicated to the art of demon hunting. Now the remnant of a dream sliced open into nightmare. Rumor has it 
An exorcism went oh. wrong there long ago. Yeah. And for a short time, a great demon stood unopposed. Had it not been for Dr. Deva, the entirety of Reaper's Coast could have looked like Blood Moon Island looks today. He contained the demon and its blood spawn to the doomed shores of the isle, surrounded it with death fog, and never looked back. Just, Maybe. eh. Fuck that place. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that's all you can do. Yeah. It's just like, I can't fight you, but I can keep you here. <laughs> Voice acting in the game is top notch. Agreed, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's see. Did we ever go all the way to the west in the cloister wood? There's like um, a little shrine looking area that I'm not sure we ever went to. There's Alice, but we can go past her, I believe. We can go like it's, around. Yeah, her. Alice. I don't think actually triggers until you talk with her, anyways. Yes, but I don't remember if I saved after that. Nope, the fire totems are all there. We saved after that. Ah, She's that's... just there. But it's okay. We can go around her. We don't have to go up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's also plenty of death fog. Yeah, we're not going that way, so we're fine. That's, that's Blood Moon Island. That's what all that death fog is. I like the cheap oh, but effective implementation that, of just... 2D textures for the death fog. Yeah. Like if, if you're not rotating the camera, it's pretty effective, but as soon as you turn the camera, it's like, uh, oh, it's it's a 2D texture. <laughs> yup. Still kind of cool, honestly. Yeah. Especially where the, the fog itself connects. Like, there's some 3D... Wait a minute. Um... There's a chest here. Zongi, quickly, go pick up this chest. Have a good yeah, one, guys. I ain't got tendons to run like some of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You've been pretty quick on your loot goblinings. I don't know if I want to hear it. <laughs> Augmenter. It's a purple plant. Yes. I know there's uses for Augmenter, but I forget what they were. Supposed I remember learning about them Potion super crafting, early. On. Like, you can upgrade your potions using them. Okay. Mm. As an Augmenter, per se. <laughs> <laughs> There's a boat in the dock. Perhaps so they take us to the island. I found a dead rabbit. So it is down there in the water. I haven't looked into it enough to see if it is a texture or a shader, but your get gut says shader. Yeah, it's probably a shader. It's still rendered on a 2D plane. Yeah, exactly. Note the dead the, fog. Let's see. The the dead ferryman is. I'm talking to him. Oh, dead ferryman. Shall I take you to the island? I shall. I shall. Step this way, all aboard. <laughs> That's what he said. It is. It is. But I know what I'm doing. I've been working this crossing my whole death. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> my whole death. I I do not trust you, sir. Mostly because I remember what happened the last time I trust you. <laughs> yeah, I have I am curious what his price is. <laughs> a trifling amount, I'm sure. Competitive. Prepare to die advance, for. Of course. Remark that the old Maxim says the ferryman shouldn't be paid until the end of the journey. But that makes no sense. Think about it. You don't pay the ferryman until he gets you to the other side out of fear that he'll murder you midstream, rob your corpse, and dump you in the water, my friend. If murder was on my mind, I could do the job right here. He's not wrong. Seconds. Yeah. Well, there's the thing is like he's not. He's got a good point. It's like, oh, you don't pay the ferryman until you get to the end, so he doesn't rob you. Well, who gives a shit if he's gonna stab you? He's gonna stab you. Yeah. Yeah. I I know what happens if you get on his boat. <laughs> you. He drives you into the fog. So no. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> there is very little way to get through. Yeah, the way we get through is those invisible platforms that are that are uh, on the yeah. eastern side of the island. 
I still find it easier when I could just walk across the fucking. Do we take wall. down the ferryman though? Uh, nah, we can keep him alive for a while. If we find a reason to kill him later on, then sure. He's like, yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if somebody trusts a dead man offering them rides through death fog, I, that's that's their own problem. Yeah. We still have to deal with that lich now that I think about it. He's, He's somewhere, yeah. Don't know where he is, but we'll find him. Oh my goodness, I just found 409 gold in a tree trunk. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello there, jo Holy shit! What? <clears throat> Lamenting abomination. Oh! And we can talk to it. A it big has... One. It has five mouths. It's all a lot of head. Oh, yeah, it is just a lot of heads. Oh, God. I can try and talk to it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save right here and uh you you go talk to it. I'll put on the fancy hat. Trusted yeah. him the first time. <laughs> Rip. <sighs> well, this is the most I can get persuasion wise, so it's also a bunch of arms. It's just like an amalgam. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a bunch of dead wolf body. It's like blithe taken to an extreme. Death fog breathing out. The creature suddenly holds itself around the ears as though seized by a great pain. Several flapping jaws open and close over a single many fanged maw, like a taxidermist's experiment. Go. Hmm. I don't remember. I don't think I ever interacted with this guy. This is new territory for me. We did save, yeah? Yes, I yes. saved before, okay. just before his own good Fox. I found mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it's portrait is terrifying. Five mouths closing around a jaw, around a maw, actually. Why are you here? Why do you come here? His I... frantic gaze passes from the blood-stained altar to you. Comprehension suddenly clears the agony from his face. Hmm. He, he wants blood. He wants Hmm. Okay. My food. I'll give you blood. I'll give it all. I beg you, my lord. Accept. Hmm. Hey, don't don't end that conversation just yet. Yeah, this sounds like fight. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting he up onto high ground. <laughs> he can just walk up. True. But I think we're still safer up here than down there. We should. There are vines stuff. here. Yeah, so I'll be right here. You'd be over there, so he can't just take us out in one go. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm as ready as I'm gonna get. So. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and. No, I shouldn't cast rain. Yeah, I can cast rain. That one's a non-offensive thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you should be good. Okay. Okay, I'm good whenever. Yep, same. Let's get this. Let's get it started. Ah. Um. Oh. Oh. They're all vampires. Healing for 50% damage dealt the vitality with direct attacks. Uh, oh, doesn't have to even come upstairs. Oh, God. He cool. Very big, so. I got pushed hmm. back too, apparently. 
He teleported you away. Oh, oh, okay. Good luck. You remember dying here? Oof. So, so one of wait, hold on. One of these. Oh, the old gray wolf. The old gray wolf is giving the vampiric aura. Black wolf. Black wolf. Oh, this one. This one, yeah. Um, this before, and if I remember correctly, if you kill one of the wolves, she will resurrect them. Right. So, yeah. He takes a lot of earth damage and a lot of poison damage. I've got a fair bit of earth stuff, so I can help out with that. Which one? The abomination? Yeah, yeah. the abomination. Big Mac. Takes extra poison damage. I can help with that a little bit. Yeah, I've got a few things I can help out. Wow, I actually can do a decent amount of poison damage. I didn't realize it was that much. I can deal 122 to 132, which is like almost as much as my other abilities I've been heavily investing in. He is not immune. To, he is not immune to chicken. Just not uh, immune remember, to chicken. Just remember, I, I believe we have to get his physical armor down. Yeah. True. Yes, or vamp vampir, vampir doggos. Hmm. Also, list hug. Oh, Torp, that'd be fucking amazing. Torp says, "What if you turn him into a chick, into a chimkin, but he still has 579 mouths?" <laughs> I would love to see a chicken abomination like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can do. Poison and that would still be good though. Yep. No one is immune to chicken. Unfortunately, not true. We have seen people who were immune to chicken. We saw people. We saw a chicken that was immune to chicken. True. <laughs> there was one person. I forget who it was, but yeah, there was yeah. one person who was immune to chicken. It's usually chickens, but there was one person. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that, wow, that was a good amount of damage. That was, that was a very good amount. <laughs> away a lot of his magic armor, so. Yeah. Um. And I'll I'll make a poison incarnate. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um. What are the other statuses? Water and air are both sort of equally resistant. So. Yeah. Not not very, but yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I could strip. Do I have a poison staff? I have a water staff. I have an air staff. I don't have a poison staff. Hmm. I have a chemical warfare grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can do a few things to to hurt this guy, but I'm gonna start with uh, making a poison incarnate. I can commit several heinous war crimes. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> but remember, blood is not vampire. <laughs> Good, old mag Good old magica. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll end my turn. There. We have come to tell you a tale. A tale of dungeons and dragons. <laughs> wizards and va uh, Wizards! <laughs> <laughs> don't block- Don't block the poison! I gotta, I gotta make an incarnate in there. He'll, I was gonna- I was just getting him so he was close. Shh. Yeah, mm. since- <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> I forgot my spider has hellish curb stomp ability. <laughs> nice. He does physical damage, so I'll give you physical armor. Has a hundred, so it will heal very slightly from the poison damage. Uh, let's do 
Mend Metal. Here we go. Give you an armor heal over time. Nice. Bam. I stripped away most of, or not most, but a good chunk of his armor. Poison! <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> this, this is definitely the power of the incarnate, is just like... Jesus Christ, I can make it do a lot of damage if things are immune to certain elements. Yeah. And I didn't I didn't realize it, but my infusions actually give the incarnate a shit ton of extra armor and magic armor. It's just annoying that I have to use those in order to give it that mm -hmm. that actual, you know, decent stat. Spider is pretty OP, yeah. Spider is pretty good. And you only get stronger the higher my necromantic abilities are. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, right now I only have seven points of necromancy. When I have more, his levels go up and up and up. So yeah, when I have nine, he's gonna have nine warfare, which gives him a lot of more oh, damage. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's gonna give him 40% more damage. <laughs> On the one hand, I'm hoping for more things that I can add to my incarnate, but that would also take like two turns to really <laughs> set him up. Uh, so well, like, I'm hoping I can get an alternative. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping I can give more stuff to Void Powell. Excuse me. Oh, oh, they, he's, oh no. Each Void Howl gives him plus 5 strength, plus 5 wits, plus 1 movement, plus 20% chance to crit, plus 80% damage, plus 30 accuracy, and plus 25 crit chance. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. There's a way to break all that off. Yeah. We bless him? Bless him, and it'll strip away all those added things. Okay. And it won't give him any bonuses. Doesn't become blessed, but will have the void howl removed. Pretty much, yes. Ooh! Whoa! Okay. Oh! Oh god, Crystal immediately died. Stop taking actions, you piece of shit. Wait, so it's source vampirism? I'm sorry, what? Wait, it uses source points? I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, it just took a source point from me. Uh, I can craft and repair my totem on my turn. Yeah, yeah. Take that source point back. <laughs> <laughs> Just Torps. playing a little swapsies, just, you know, back and forth. <laughs> Torp's just like, oh, I'm wittier now, and strong. Oh, God. They just keep Yum. piling those on. It will not matter. He will be chicken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Besides, can't do anything anyway. Atrophy his arms. Well, atrophy means that they drop weapons. I don't know if that matters to a creature that doesn't use weapons. He was slapping you guys, I thought, so I thought that would be help. Well, yeah, that, but that's just it. Is atrophy is they cannot use weapons for attacks mm -hmm. or skills. I, I don't think arms count as weapons in this case. But not the bad idea. Can no longer use my arms. Not that was what I wanted. Please stop coming up here. Oh. Please stop doing that. <laughs> you will be chicken. Oh, 
Please keep going up there. No, stop coming up here. Go down there with Fox. Chimkin. Chimkin. Make it chicken nugget. Uh, at this no. point, I could probably like stun lock oh, it with shit. freeze and um, shot. He's only gonna have one turn of chimkin. I, I, it's fine. He's gonna die. He still has the massive uh, weakness to poison, and my, which means my incarnate's going to be doing three hundred damage a hit. Nice. Hopefully my atrophying his arms allows you to at least survive some slappies. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you, Fox. <laughs> the chicken with the void howl. <laughs> that that wolf couldn't get to us. And okay, yeah, no. Why is it going over there when it's taunted? This is that same issue that, that we all keep seeing with that ability. It's like, they all get taunted and then don't fucking do them. No, that wolf was right next to you. It it was it was standing next to you. Yeah, it was, was like right here. Let's say, no, this is the only one that's taunted. All the other ones aren't. Yeah, they are. Oh. They they were. It only lasts one round. Uh, I was about to say, yeah. Only two of them were, look like they've been taunted. So. Yeah, no, it, it only lasts the one round. 69 nice yeah um just in case i'm still going to craft the totem uh yes do, do so yeah i have no resurrection scrolls so i will not be crafting the totem uh, oh, no. <laughs> but i should be able to i'm just gonna use pressure spike which is one action that is enough, right? Yeah, 87 to 95. Yeah! <laughs> it just exploded up big. Okay, we still <laughs> gotta fight the rest of these, but that, that was good. Well, at least they won't be resurrected from... Yeah. Look at that fucking maw. Damn it, camera, stop moving about. I wanna, I wanna see the creature. The maw. <clears throat> Look at, look at that disturbing fucking maw. All these wolf heads that have been sewn together. One, two, three, four, five. I'd say six, maybe. Six faces. There, yeah. I think one of those is an arm, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. That that one's a, a leg or arm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's five heads and an arm in that area. Yeah. That is honestly impressive work on the devs part. Whoever made, like, whoever yeah. in lore made that should be ashamed of themselves. But on the devs part, that's that's impressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a serious question. Who hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's up there. Absolutely, Fox. That that's not Resident Evil horror level horror. That's uh, the thing level horror. Ah, oh, lovely. Cronenberg level. Uh, John um, Carpenter. Still, er, Cronenberg was known for body horror, which... Uh, yeah, that's fair. Am I silenced? I am silenced. Yep. Uh, but I can break the shackles. Yeah, there you go. Which does not take an action point. It oh, is nice. just a source point. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I might be able to actually use uh, Mad Song on these. I I have to use my my source ability on my turn. Valid. Um That will Yeah. I would say pinging the old man would be things so that way they don't I... and they bite our asses. All the things I'm gonna make go mad are now frozen. <laughs> oh. Rip. I'm sorry. No, no, it's 
Losa's ability is one of those that's really cool. You're just never going to get to use it. <laughs> because, like, there's so many better things to do. Um, yeah, I'll just save this point for next turn. Well, one of them got unfrozen. Oh, it's a smaller area than I thought anyway, so... Is it, like, turns? immediate around you? It's not around me. It's a, like... It's about the size of a fireball. It's something that I target in an area, and it's the size of a fireball. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Mad. But <laughs> they're angry. <laughs> this one up here's mad as well. Yeah, I, I was able to get both of them. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, give that to you. Hey, nice. Then do this to all of these. No, no talk me. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> so true, Cloudy. <laughs> Nice. Enraged. <clears throat> it enraged itself, walked about two feet, and then ended its turn. And then stopped. Yep. The, the AI sometimes. <laughs> it's really special. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a bunch of targets. Like, madness is good if enemies have bunched up together, but as spread out as this is with all of us in between the enemies, it, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> do much. Ah, walks it off. <laughs> <laughs> Cloudy here with the bangers tonight. <laughs> Shackles of pain. Shackles of poison. pain. Of pain! Excellent. I can chill literally everyone. Yeah, nice. And then, which one in particular should die? Uh, the two that are up here are both really close to death should definitely steal Fox's kills. <laughs> hmm. That... I love that Fox's sword is just constantly dripping blood. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go ahead and oh, freeze this one. Instead of Polly. I mean, that's fair, Fox. Wait, can it not be frozen? No immunities, but it, it got chilled before. Why huh. did it not freeze? <laughs> I don't know. That's good. That's a good question. I am confusion. Well, hi, confusion. What did you do with Crystal? You're both cute, but I prefer Crystal. Uh, Divinity, explain. <laughs> Like, I know that's an iconic vine, and like, lots of people quote it. And don't mean any harm by it, but like, the, the reason that's Kansas versus Arkansas is because of like, it, it was the indigenous language of the area, and then like, the English speakers who came in 
heard the words, but like used similar spelling, even though it sounded different. Yeah. Like that, that's really why it's spelled <clears throat> the same, but sounds different. Ooh, a shield. Oh, oh, lots of things. Belt. How do you keep your pants up? It's incredible. Belt. <laughs> um, 72 physical armor, plus one retribution, plus two critical chance, plus three percent dodging. For belt. Uh, 69 magic armor for this uh, ring. Actually, that ring is very useful for me. Yeah, it is. True. Um, the just from purely physical armor, it would be plus 50 physical armor for me to get this belt. Um, but like the other stats are kind of whatever for me. The belt is an upgrade for you? Yeah, let's trade belt. Scoundrel hides your surface. I'm look up combinations I can... So the abomination mentioned wanting blood. Do we cast blood rain on this altar here? That is an interesting question. Uh Uh one second, let me close the compass. Yeah, I yeah, it's on he cast blood all blood rain on that altar. No. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if there's something about praying at all of the altars instead of like, it's not something you get from praying at one altar. It's all of the altars. I did get like a voice when I prayed at the altar and then it won't let me get source from it. The most worldly yeah. sensations can be to you. A voice materializes in your mind. I will care. Two new infusion recipes discovered through much. the Summoner's Lament Part One book that soothing found as and dips and waves what? through you, hey, entering hey, you from the air itself. As the feeling fades, the, you realize did we ever, you become replete with. Did we ever find a book called The Summoner's the Lament Part voice. One? Was that a thing? Uh, I can check through my very extensive list of books I have. <laughs> If only I could sort this book bag. Ooh, blood infusion and oil infusion are things that I can make. Combine any summoning skill book with any necromancy skill book. Same effect as if you had summoned your pet in blood to start with. Ooh, very cool. Oil, in oil infusion is a combined summoning skill book, geomancer skill book, and an oil barrel. Gives the pet the fossil strike skill. The adventurer's liquid friend. <laughs> Crafted uh, skills. Uh, let me see. I pick up like every book I see, so I'm I'm <laughs> looking to see if I have that book you mentioned. All right, what did I do, Fox? 
No, I do not have that book. Supercharger skill book. Do I have supercharger? Is that a thing? I don't think book quarter? Do. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> There is a singular skill that I might be able to use here. Well, no, sorry, skill book crafting. Why am I being oh my dad? What'd I do? Vacuum touch, vaporize, erratic wisp, smoke cover, electric infusion? Ooh. Electric boogaloo? There's a lot that. Okay, we should be. We should be. I'm going to town real quick. Hold on. Sure. There's 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 some things I gotta do. <laughs> hold, hold on. Excuse. No, no, no. You get the fuck out of the store. <laughs> get the fuck out of the store, bitch. <laughs> I gotta buy skill books so I can combine them randomly. <laughs> <laughs> randomly. Wait, why would you be yelling at me because I'm in the Web Because he has skill books. It's not blank skill books. I have to have actual skill books. I was seeing what knives he had. Nah, it's, it's, it's fine. Box. It's fine. I, I was just giving you shit. <laughs> Did we talk with this person in like the destroyed building over here? Uh, the undead person. Uh, they they want a yeah they're book. undead. Yeah, if I if I remember correctly, they want a book, but I don't think we have it. Hmm. Question mark. I don't know what book we're looking for. Uh, probably shows up in the map, the uh, the the journal thing, right? Maybe. I I don't know. Hmm. No good knives. Uh, I need the cheapest books. Hmm. It doesn't matter what the skill book actually is, just that it's of that specific yep. class. Just just has to be of that class. Interesting. I found a little bit more augmenter. Very nice. Always useful. Oh, I also have like 417 gold that I forgot to send over. <laughs> nice. Ooh, supercharger. No, that's right. There's a reason I didn't take supercharger because it sucks. <laughs> Target totem or summon deals 100% more base damage during its next turn, but then dies. No, I'm good. I'd rather it stay alive, actually. The only time that that particular book would be useful is if it's like the last turn it's going to fly. Yeah. <coughs> so, I was just randomly walking around and there's this guy with like the, the scary yellow border. You know, the, the one that's like, oh, this is a boss. Mm -hmm. So I decided not to walk any further. <laughs> <laughs> it's only level 11, but still... Better not to just casually walk over, you know? Yeah, yeah. I am creating a whole lot of bad touch spells. Nice. I already had corpse explosion. That's fine. I I am not entirely. I'm at the moment. I'm not looking at like what these are gonna make. I'm just making shit. Mm -hmm. Lizard, keep watch over Crystal so they don't get in trouble while munching veggie straw. 
<laughs> appreciate it. Veggie, veggie straws are great, you know? Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. love those. Okay, I, one? I really like veggie straws. It's... I think the marketing behind them is a little bit off. Like, it's a it's good potato chip, basically. Like, yes, there is, yeah. like, some, like, vegetable in there other than potato. But, like, it's mostly a chip. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and about as nutritionally healthy. But I like them. They're good. And maybe, like, a modicum more healthy, but, like... I don't know, you're not going to get healthy by just eating veggie straw. <laughs> no, you're not. Turn it can't be your vegetable for the day. Into oil. Remove stun and shock from character. <laughs> Less carbon sodium than norm normal chip, at least. True, yeah. So, compared to how Clarissa eats, um, I eat that i use salt a lot more than what she does and mm -hmm. i was worried like there's like the whole thing of like oh like trans girls like salty things because of like you know the the medicine causing you to crave salt and stuff right yeah yeah but there, there was like a small part of me that was worried like maybe i'm having too much salt <laughs> <laughs> um but my, my worries were, uh, like, quickly hindered, which is a thing in bad. Yes, definitely, yeah. Um, but uh, when I went into the hospital at the beginning of the year and had, like, you know, blood work and EKG stuff done because I was worried about something else, um, it came back and it's like, yeah, you're perfectly healthy. Sodium level's perfectly fine. I'm like, great, I could keep going as I am right now. <laughs> Who had the polymorphs? You did. Give me your polymorph skills. But just like grabbing the merchant and shaking them. <laughs> give me your polymorph <laughs> skills. Give, give, and just start I, shaking them by the shoulders. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> the lava is still here, by the way. <laughs> I like how the uh, I, I forget their name, but they they just. Lava. <laughs> just yep. dumped it on you. Oh, it was great. I, I actually loved it. I, I was not <laughs> expecting that. Same, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's just sort of out of left field. Just, oh yeah, you're dead now. Yeah. Is that like Hydra a source so skill? Or? Hey, here we go. Uh, Alright. Uh, healing tears. The earth itself laments your plight, crying curative tears, which heal al all allies that move close to you for aid up to three times. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Cleanse wounds, hydrosophist, and warp. <laughs> Great, down is a salt shaker. <laughs> heal target and create a water puddle beneath them. Remove burning, disease, decayed, poisoned, and bleeding. Ooh, so that sounds good. I found a foot. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something for my character to eat. <laughs> Fox, I have something that I think you will love. Receive Spark Striker status. This causes your melee attacks to create a spark projectile that bounces off the initial target to hit the closest enemy. You just need a point in pyrokinetic. <laughs> you have fucking <laughs> whatever. It's fine. I I'm just making shit at this point. This is good. <laughs> have foot I found. Foot. Disembodied foot. All five toes. Check. An attached leg. Uh. <laughs> Not so much. No, oh, you have pyro. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Your blood fall away from you. Uh, I want to touch this altar, but I don't think I should without other people around. The ground drifts. What? Oh, sorry. What the alt? The altar up by the thing that we killed? Uh, no. Up to do the uh, vulture thing. Oh, okay, mm. yeah. Wait, wait I for a second. 
The ground drifts by hundreds of feet below you. Droplets of your blood fall away from you into space. You don't feel any pain, only a numbing cold. Your senses are fading. Geomancer and warfare to make oily carapace. Consume oil surfaces around you and convert them to physical armor. Ooh, nice. Pretty cool. Your senses are fading. All you can hear is the beating of the Void Woken's wings and the beating of your own heart. Only, your heart is slowing. I have so many skill books, I'm weighed down by them. <laughs> the Void Woken seems uh, to sense that you won't make it. It unleashes an outraged screech, then uh, releases you from its grasp. The ground rushes up to meet you. You close your eyes. The ground rushes up to meet you. You close your eyes. Uh, let me see. Venom coating. Azanki, do you have the venom coating skill? Uh, no, but if I actually, I don't, wait, no, I got rid of my barrel shit, so I can't just do it for free. Uh, no, this, let's see, this is Venomous Aura, is what, uh, is what this actually is. It looks like they changed the skill, so instead of just giving yourself venom coating, you give everyone venom coating. Ooh. Very good. Uh, throw dust, geomancer, and hunt. Throw, throw dust at a carrier. <laughs> this skill is just pocket, pocket sand! <laughs> <laughs> Blinds them and deals earth damage. Clear surfaces and clouds in the area. Okay. Uh, Geomancer and Necromancer. Mark the troll. I wonder how upset he'll be if we cross the bridge by Extremely. using flight. <laughs> uh, as long as you don't, in that case, as long as you don't land on the bridge, he's fine. Okay. I'm nearly done. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to do here. I, I found a whole world of, of magic. <laughs> A whole new world. Oh, I can I walk over here and then jump. I must have already made that one. Um, Arrow Theurge and Scoundrel. Who sells Scoundrel books? Oh, no, we He's killed dead. the guy who does Scoundrel books. Yeah. Yep. That's a shame. Um, shame. Does anybody, does anybody have the Vaporize skill? No. Arathir and Yeah, I know we needed that for the uh, elemental thing over back in the woods a ways. Yeah, yeah. Era I had to get a ring that summon Snug. Vaporize. Remove petrified and frozen from target character. Vaporize ground surfaces into clouds. Does not work on oil, ice, or lava. How do what you get what skill air? tree is that from? Uh, Vaporize. It is both Arrow Theurge and Warfare. It's one of the combined books. Okay. Um, what's a high tier? That's my thing. Uh, there is a white rabbit over here. Um, I'm worried that what? it might have red eyes. <laughs> I already it's fine. To it, rabbit. It's fine. It's an albino. That's all. Okay, okay, so it's not the very dangerous rabbit from, uh, no, okay, not Monty there's, Python. There's actually, okay, if if I use skill books that consume source, which I'm not going to do at the moment because those are expensive, but if I do skill books that consume source, I can create a lot of auras or extremely powerful spells. So I've got hmm. one that has pyrokinetics, so let's Flaming skin, deploy mass traps, mass sabotage, or necrofire infusion. Oh, we already have a massive trap. It's I, yeah, <laughs> I know. That's fair. Uh, I think you all would enjoy sabotage because they're great for the magisters. It's basically if the character has an arrow or a grenade, it explodes in their pocket. Amazing. Pyro and uh, scoundrel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, I want 
I want deploy mass traps. That's that's what I'm gonna pyrokinetic and hunter. Deploy mass traps. Throw four explosive traps at target locations. Each trap takes a turn to activate. When active, trap will explode when a character approaches it. Nice. <laughs> Fox, do you already have skin graft? It's a polymorph skill. Okay. <coughs> All right, send oh, no. this. That would be actually. What's my character about? doing? Send this to Fox. This one is for me. Uh, vacuum touch, that's for Sabeel. Vaporize is for Sabeel. Erratic Wisp is for Sabeel. Turn oh, no. Hope for she's me. fine. Corrosive touch, oily carapace, that's for Fox. Yeah, no, no problem, Fox. Yeah, hope she's okay. Throw dust is for me. Venomous aura is for Izangi. Corpse explosion is for Izangi. Play mass traps is for me. Fire fusion is for me. Barking swing is for Fox. Cleanse wounds is for Crystal. Cryotherapy is for Crystal. Healing tears is for Crystal. Oh my goodness! There's so many skill books all of a sudden. Hell yeah, there are. <laughs> I might need to get more memory points. Well, you, you just remember you don't you don't have to have all of them. Right. But also, having more but options also, is good. Yeah. But also, skills. <laughs> skills. I have mass corpse explosion. <laughs> I have normal corpse explosion and mass corpse explosion. Nice. And if I had two points of Geomancer, I could get reactive armor. <coughs> Deal 59 to 62 physical damage based on your current physical armor in a wave of metal spikes to everyone in the area, including yourself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that'd be just brutal. <laughs> armor myself up with bone cage and then just detonate. <laughs> My inventory is so full. I really need to get rid of it. Uh, let me see. Can I Hi, Sila. Wounds? Welcome in. How you doing? <laughs> so I would need one warfare for that. That's there's probably a, worth. There's a goat in the chat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to lay down the blue cube here, or the blue teleporter. Okay. I was about to say, if I was going to do this, I would uh, recommend people backing a ways up, just so that they don't accidentally get the conversation and whenever we're ready. Um... There it is, okay. <laughs> that dwarf, or that dead dwarf has hell, or armor and magic armor, so I would be hesitant, or I'm not sure what thing would happen. That thing is going to wake up eventually. I'm doing all right, Zila. How are you? A little bit annoying that you have to go down two flights of stairs in order to interact with the mirror. A little bit. But I also suppose it's not something you're supposed to be doing all the time, so... I'm just gonna start tossing out these... these books that we don't need anymore. Probably one less there. Welcome back, Fox. Yeah, but Sila, how are you? <laughs> Mister's note that ship will be as hitless. Letter from keep the letter from the Dwarven King. 
this is warfare. Uh, that, 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 that. <clears throat> that did not actually lower my inventory space at all. I have a lot of points in memory already. <laughs> I have 24 Ooh. points in memory. <laughs> I can give Fox flaming skin. Nice. There you go, Fox flaming skin. Um, let me see. Send that to his auntie as well. I'm just gonna turn off my camera for a little bit. My eyes are a little yeah, bit yeah. Bothered. We just found it out, uh, Sila. Was it you? They, you can do a lot of things here. <laughs> a lot of things. Herb gar herb garden skill books. That so that, that's how we make the blank summoning or the blank skill books. But what the fuck do we do with the blank skill books themselves? Or can I use the blank ones that I've got here as just ingredients for these other things. Hmm. One way to find out. Yeah. One point equals one slot. No. No. Doesn't work that way. Okay. So yeah, there's a bunch of things I want to get people. Um, like vampiric hunger aura. Uh, or mass cleanse wounds, or you know, master of sparks, stuff like that. Uh, but I need I need a lot of money and a lot of skill books with uh, that that use source. Gotcha. But yeah, that's that's gonna be the really high tier stuff. Yeah. Oh, um, could we possibly purchase some more? Um resurrection scrolls. Oh yeah, let me let me check the store for that. Because I do not currently have any. You have six. I now have seven more. Nice. This this is a good RPG to get lost into, especially if you can get the crafting. Mm -hmm. Like you really gotta look up the crafting recipes, but it's yeah, the crafting really... is a bit obscure if you're not just looking it up. Yeah, there's some logic and there's some in-world stuff, but I feel like you'd have to do a lot of guess and check if you didn't check online. Yeah, you you absolutely would. And the the in some games that wouldn't be an issue, but in this game there's too many items. Yeah. So it's it's the impossible to know. Yeah, it, it's impossible to know what's gonna actually mix with what. Yeah. Uh, so I put a uh, the pyramid down next to where Azangi is wanting for us to be at. Okay. Driftwood uh, Square. I will be right back. Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, go grab something real quick. Should we take a quick break right now, then? Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. let's take our break here. Sounds good. As my computer continues to just lag itself to death. <laughs> hmm. Okay, friends, I'll be right back. Talk to y'all soon.
Hello, I am back. Hello, hello. Hi, Fox. What dog has been chewing on you that you want to replace some of your bones? Hello, Cloudy. Also, I didn't read this earlier, but Sabeel sees a foot. Finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> Excellent. Very Sabeel mood. <laughs> Ankle biters, they are evil? The dogs? Sabeel was your main in it. it. Had Sabeel, Loza, Fane, and the Red Prince. Interesting, yeah. music's so good. I say this probably every stream we play this game, but I really enjoy the music. I am back. Welcome back. Thank you. Use. Hello. Hello. Oh, right. Right. This spot. I'm going to go over here. Fox is going to be the bush. Be the bush? I'm sorry? What? <laughs> be the bush. Fox is stand or no, sorry, a zongi was standing in a bush. Sees you running around and just screamed, Oh god, their tank is not being supervised and it's roaming the forest <laughs> alone. <laughs> Amazing. Uh Fox, if you teleport to the square and then use the pyramid. Uh, I have the pyramid set up where we're at currently. Yeah. There you are. Hello. I will now pick this up. Bush. 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 I'm a barrel. 
of a barrel that's dangerously close to the edge of this platform. This is definitely an OSHA violation. Here, I think if I go over here, I'll become a rock? Yep. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that it is now based on where you're standing, because it used to just be random. Yeah. Which was honestly, like, just really funny. It was one of those things that was just like, I don't even care if this doesn't make sense. It's just funny to think about. Yeah. A barrel is sneaking up on somebody in the wilderness, and they're just like, yeah, that's fine. That's supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle of the forest. No civilization around. Barrel. Yep. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. <laughs> Jeff, you brought this barrel in, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> hey, that, I, I think I saw that rock moving. Nah, nah. Nah, rock, rocks only move if you push them. Something probably rubbed up against it. <laughs> Alrighty, then. <laughs> I'm going to touch the thing. Also, I would ask, take a few steps back just so you don't get roped into the conversation immediately. <clears throat> Yes, Fox, pull, uh, pull back a bit. Because this will require persuasion. Okay, and then join conversation. Symbol, the central Oops. room oh, is stained black that. with a thousand years worth of blood. A relatively fresh coating flakes off. Okay, I'll do this again. I haven't got that the book that we we first read that I don't remember no the initial no <clears throat> um it might be um we have the second book what's uh, the name of the book to, you know we can summon duna's undertaker with source infused mutton and appease it with a specific ritual i know the ritual it's i don't do i just chuck the meat on the slab i think chuck the meat on the slab if it's source infused right yeah oh there we go oh. saving ah! hi there hello there that is cool the death that feast Feather judges your heart. Act with honor or be consumed. The beast leans closer, its putrid breath washing over you. It is primed to pounce. The Did you? faithful must <coughs> offer an answer. What is yours? The creature perks <coughs> up, blinking rapidly with anticipation. Hmm. Why? The vulture drags its talons across the altar, scratching deep into the surface. You brace yourself for an attack. Your right is true. Do not call upon me again. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, cool. Oh. So that you got the feather, cover. right? Nice. Do not call upon me again. <laughs> Immediately calls upon it again. <laughs> Hi, so I forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> Keep calm and carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Why can I not click on this ladder? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Perforation floating and farsight. Perforation add 15 to 16 piercing damage to weapon attacks and skills. Nice. Do you just constantly have floating now? Yep. 
That's Whoa. awesome. That that is super cool. The quest names oh, are good. Yeah, they definitely are. They're very good. Oh, and I can even eat corpses now. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat corpses and get powerful. Oh my goodness, you could do thievery on the spirits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. From here, I say we head. There was something about to... Paradise Falls? There's something about Paradise Falls. Do we want to go there first or over to Grog the Troll? Um, I mean, Grog the Troll's fine with me. Um, sometime today I'd like to go to Paradise Falls, just that my title is not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, let's let's go to Paradise Falls. Okay. So we, we want uh, the Black Pit Gates uh, teleport. Black Pit Gates. Travel. And then we just go straight north from there. Oh, I teleported and it was still hiding. <laughs> this is way too much fun. <laughs> Just flying along. Okay, hold hold up. Ooh, Paradise Downs. Paradise Downs, that was it. Um, why are y'all decaying? Because that's the effect of the area that we are in. Oh. Paradise Downs is under effect of a of not only a massive death fog attack, but also a massive expenditure of source that called the Void Woken down. Ah, so that's okay. why everything is the way it is here. Everything sucks. <laughs> Ooh. Digging. Just rip that shovel right out of low. Uh, right yeah, out of the Yeah, my whole screen pants. went gray about it. <laughs> yep. Just rip pockets. it right out of your pants. The name upon the old grave marker can no longer be made up. Ah, the skeleton's <laughs> empty. Rip. So, someone's already looted this poor bastard. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I remember, we're gonna have to jump down to a few places. Best place to do that is from oh, over nice. here. Nice. Can't see, apparently. I'm trying to... Hmm. What are, what are you, what's going on? I was trying to move the coffin. Oh. <laughs> no, no grave robbing. Ha, there's the Elder of Mending. So yeah, so we're gonna head down this way to say hi to these uh, hostile Elders. But we should definitely stay right here for now. Let's let's wait for Crystal because I forget if you need to. Uh... No, oh, never I, mind. I have flight now. This. Okay. I have flight now, so. Okay. Cool. Oh. <clears throat> oh, they have mending and we're decaying. That's right. Yep. I did not repair my Ashen Idol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. It's fine. I just won't die. <laughs> hey, just, just don't die, silly. It's don't fine. die, five head. <laughs> okay, so Elder of Kindling. Oh, uh, fire for my and YouTube air streams, majorly resistant if to you get Elder of Passing. Better TTV installed. You can use custom emotes to now. every element. I forgot to mention um, that. Elder of Mending, 
heavily resistant to earth and water. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Elder of the Passive. Right there. Give you Farsight Infusion. Uh, and then Mend Metal on us. And Kindling. Ah! Immune to Shocked. Um... That is a really good question, Fox. I don't know. Um, maybe the just this enkindling one here? I was about to say, for now, enkindling would be your best option, just because they're closer. I can drop down with my teleport and try and deal with the passing a bit. Yeah. I like that falling meteors are also on the turn order. <laughs> Uh, good note, yeah I, would, yeah. I would agree with Fox. Focus on uh, the Elder of Enkindling to start with. You would agree with Fox? <laughs> I would I agree. I a all of a sudden. <laughs> you are now. This is the real trans agenda. Forced feminization. <laughs> yeah, no, I would agree with Izanki. Oh, hey, I get two things in a row because I joined slightly late. <laughs> <laughs> God. That that whole feminization thing reminds me. I keep seeing this ad on YouTube that is... Uh, it's one of those, like, protein-added testosterone for manly men things. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but it starts off with something that I think should immediately get it marked as a scam. And it is, uh, a dude sitting on a couch that says, uh, estrogen is killing men. It's just like, shut the fuck up, dude. No, it's not. Like... Literally, for anybody, you need, um, well, not need, but, like, default state, w if you're not on, like, medical hormones, like, you're going to have some amount of estrogen and some amount of yeah. testosterone. Yeah, every human being has to have a certain level of estrogen and testosterone. We, like, you can't if, function properly without, without the both of them. If you're on, like... You need some amount of hormone, basically, but yeah. uh, if if you're on medical hormones, sometimes people will, like, end up having no testosterone or, like, almost no testosterone. Like, it mm -hmm. just gets to, like, such a minimal level. But you need some form of, like, hormones are, like, something needed for a human to function, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> and I feel like that line alone should get it like taken off of youtube both as a scam and as dangerous medical misinformation not to mention like ain't no motherfucker out here dying because they got too much fucking estrogen in them from whatever the fuck they're complaining about I think I can hit that one. Yeah. Um. Sure, I'll use blinding radiance. Oh, but they're not blinded because of their magic armor, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> It'll keep going, so if we can get their magic armor down, then uh, they will still uh, be counted in that. 
Uh, it's only for one turn, so it, it needs to happen within uh, the next action, I think. Oh, really? I because the, I had like the that. two turns immediately in a row. Oh, uh, okay. Ow! Rip. Um, I unfortunately cannot resurrect you because I don't have any resurrection scrolls. I gave you six. But when? Um, earlier. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I bought. I bought seven. Gave you six. Uh, oh, so there, there they are. Yep. <laughs> um, I will then really quickly do some crafting. <laughs> yeah, let me make sure I have the talent. Yes, when resurrected, I resurrect to full health. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Um, anywhere in particular you want to be at? Um, can you put me over here? Um, up, up there? Yes. Uh, let me see <coughs> about that. Um, pa -pa -pa -pum. Uh, yes, just barely, it looks like. Yeah, that that's fine. I'll take it. Um, yeah, so I will put you right there. Thank you. Yeah, so you won't be decaying then. Mm-hmm. And I can, I can summon my incarnate again, send it over there and help you all out. Electric totem. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. It's an eel. That's very. It's a bunch of eels. That's cool. Eels and escalators. <laughs> <coughs> That's the episode where SpongeBob and Patrick get in trouble for saying the naughty word. Oh no. It is. A dolphin noise. <laughs> <laughs> There's um must do must chicken. <laughs> chicken. There's chicken. um at at my work there. Uh, so I work at a murder mystery thing that's like themed off of uh, a 1930s speakeasy. Yeah. And we have uh, the two main actors are uh, supposed to be a couple, mm. and. Uh, the girlfriend kills the boyfriend at the very end. Ah! And, uh... At one point, the detective that's there is just like, you don't seem very sad about your boyfriend having just been murdered. She's just like, I wouldn't say boyfriend. I would say more of... Acquaintances? And the detectives just like they were in a situation, meant. friends with benefits, you might say. And I was just like, I'm waiting for one of these customers to just shout out, "They were fucking!" <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> they were best of friends throughout the history. <laughs> Cloudy says, "Who'd want to be a manly man?" Sounds gross. Even when I thought. I was a cis man. It was gross. Yeah. Yeah. It is empowering for some. It was it, not for me. Like, <laughs> yeah, like there there are levels that it can that it can be taken to that it's There's fine. manly man and then toxic masculinity above that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was there was one person in a YouTube comment section for a completely different thing. It's like a manly man is someone who responds to others' needs and tries to help people around them. And I'm like, sir, that's called being a decent human being. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not specific to men. 
Yeah. Uh oh, stunned. Sorry about that. <laughs> Zangi, I swear I don't do this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Where, wait, where'd I go? Wait. Oh, I'm here now. Okay. They swapped places with you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Put that there. <clears throat> We're not too concerned about uh, physical armor at the moment, right? They're doing mostly magic damage. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, Since we're so close together, I could probably throw up uh, a Soothing Cold. Regenerate magic armor for all allies around Caster. Uh, potentially. Fox, we're soulmates. You're not stunned anymore. Fox? You mean Again. Zangi? <laughs> Fox, we're soulmates. <laughs> Zangi's not stunned anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Um, excuse me, sir. You look like you could use some healing. Rested. Two can play it that. Two can play it that game, bitch. <laughs> Just me giving a huge <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> uh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Torp, Torp in chat. Random tree, we're soulmates. It's like he's not stunned anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can literally throw dirt in people's faces. <laughs> I have an ability, Dust Blast. <laughs> throw dust at all enemies in range, blinding them and dealing... 63 to 69 earth damage. <laughs> nice. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. <laughs> Mass pocket sand. <coughs> Whoa. Hmm. I feel like a meteor is about to hit you. Your totem. Probably. You have 70% water resistance. You have like 30%. All right. Well, that sucks. Wish I had those other infusions now. Are you blind incarnate? Something stopping you from... Oh no, I used the wrong skill. Then. Uh oh. Wait. How do you make a skeleton bleed? Very carefully. We were, we were asking that on uh, For the King yesterday. Or the day before, something like that. Squirrel, what are you doing over here? That's fine, you have over... You have almost more health. No, you do have more health than the tank. So, the, mm. the squirrel's the new tank! <laughs> I Fox, swap you've been... with the Fox, you've been replaced. <laughs> I can't. And then... Oh, sweet. That'll help. And then... Two action points. Uh, but I I swapped with this totem and now the totem's in the way. <laughs> <I'm a> thunk. <laughs> <laughs> and it is immune to air damage. Oh it is, okay. <clears throat> yep, because it's cause it's an uh, air totem. Oh yeah 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 for the totem, yep. Yeah yeah. Ooh, uh, that was all my physical armor gone. One of these are doing physical damage. Okay. That's... Uh, this one. Mm. Mm, yeah, but it, it targeted me, though. Yeah, I had full... Hmm. 
Oh, you also got hit with a mosquito swarm. That that was it, yeah. You are so right. Shoot an arrow that goes straight through enemies. Cool, so why is it not going through this totem? Am I in the way? No. No, maybe... Well, we're gonna find it. All right, that works. It's I just missed. That's all. Rip. Boom. Yeah, we're good here, Fox. <clears throat> oh wow, decayed goes away immediately. Mm-hmm. It's it's an effect specifically of the area, so it's not like it's a uh, a, a timed thing. It, it's just as long as you're standing in this place. Was invited to the for the king uh, to beta. Should try that. Enjoyed for the king original. I don't know that game. It's fun. It's a really good rogue, uh, turn-based roguelike that uh, the, the first one up to three people can play. The second uh, one is up to four people. Cool. Um, and yeah, it's it's really good. Uh, I would just be careful with the uh, the, the second game's closed beta. Um, it, it has an issue that my group ran into where uh, we had problems um, where as soon as we made characters, almost immediately one person uh, in our group could no longer interact with anything. They couldn't open the menu, they couldn't uh, confirm anything, inspect anything, move anywhere. They had to Alt F4 to leave the game, and then the game wouldn't let them back in. Weird. Yeah, it's very strange. But that's what a closed beta is for, to work out those yeah. kinks, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, like, two of us reported the, uh, the bug as soon as we saw it, so yeah. Yeah. Apparently, these undead are not affected. I think it was, so... The Holy Fire status effect doesn't heal people, but walking through the flames does heal us. I think it did take a little bit of damage just from standing in the flames. But then after that, it's just, it gives resistance to fire. That, that's all. And, uh, Bless, no matter who it's used on, is always a bonus. If we blessed a Void Woken, then it would get a buff from it instead of a debuff. It's weird like that. Hmm. Nice, nice. Seems like they keep regenerating magic armor. They have soothing cold going on, that's why. We all have so many status effects on us right now. <laughs> Almost a minor. <minute. laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just loving the, like, line of statuses. Yeah, at what point do they wrap it? <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, yeah, yeah, this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look deeply into my bony eyes. <laughs> Um, oh, I was like, why did the camera pull me over there and it yeah. was a meteor? Yup, yup, yup. I was very <laughs> confused. Your 
50% resistance repair damage. So let's do that. You're diseased. Fuck you. And then I walk over here. A water Damn. totem. Ow. You made a bad choice, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you exposed your bony rear. Um, what's this one? Fifty percent to air, sixty percent to water. Our soul bond continues, Izangi. That was something that was really funny uh, when me, Sarah, and Torp were playing For the King the other night. Uh, me and one of the things you can do for your uh, character's like cosmetics is you can become a skeleton. It yeah. has no it has no mechanical purposes. It's just a cosmetic thing. Uh, and so we both became skeletons. I was a woodcutter, and uh, um, Torp was a bard. Uh, and so we named ourselves, uh, Skelex, the woodcutter, <laughs> and, and Bard Bone, wait, that was actually Torp's, Torp's character's name was Bard Bone, wait, Bard Bone, and wait, then, Bard Bone, wait, and then, um, and Sarah's character was a human, because we made the joke that it was just like, Sarah's currently questioning our life choices, and so she named her character Questioning Life. Amazing. And that's just like, ah, yes, we are Skelax and Bard Boneweight, and our friend Questioning Life going through <laughs> adventures together. Yeah. <laughs> I love that everyone universally was just like, yep, this is Papyrus's voice. <laughs> I mean, well, that's the, that is the thing, is with the little sounds that it makes and the way it is kind of uh, set, it it says, like, it does that for you. It, it's not even yeah. so much that everybody universally just decided that. It's It, it pushed that towards you. Rain water amulet. Brain water amulet? Aha! Uh -huh. There is, if I, correctly, if I remember correctly, there was a chest down here, but I think we got it. Some, I, I seem to recall somebody picking it up. Does anyone want the skill rain? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good. I have the more edgy version. <laughs> Hello, Fox. Fox. Very short cooldown with this. I only gotta wait one turn for it to come back. Fox. Hug. Hug. Real hugging hours. Let me tell you, getting spread your wings so that I can not need to wait around to play the shuffle game with my teammates <laughs> is really nice. Yeah, it's very useful. Hmm, farmers. Spirit of a farmer. There's a cow. It's a cow. We're on a cow farm. There's going to be cows outside. I also found a teleport thing. Traitor! They traitor! Ran they ran to the north. The witch and the traitor. There's just a text option to consume. Yep. Yep. Once you get uh, source vampirism, yeah, you can just eat people. Hey, I'm talking with you. I'm going to eat you now. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, I'm in a fight with looters now. Nice. Oh. They're, they're all a little scary. 
Uh, we're on our way in. Uh, let me see. The chief looter actually seems fairly simple to kill. Has like no physical armor. And the, yeah. the crossbowman is also pretty weak armor line. They armor also line. apparently are giving each other fire immunity, which is great that I put down this fucking fire totem then. <laughs> um, fire immunity aura is from the chief looter. Yep. Yep, yep. Bonk. Do I shank the alchemist? Yes. Bonk. The answer is yes. Oh my goodness, they're at below half health already. <laughs> <laughs> is there any other skeleton voice that than Papyrus anyways? There's Sanses. Yeah, there's Sanses. <laughs> <laughs> Disease. And decaying. They don't even get to go to Hall of the Echoes. Yeah. Uh, that was... Explain... I, I think that was explained to us when we got the source vampirism. Uh, something like that. It, yeah. We realized fairly early on that source is souls. Mm -hmm. So, yes. If you consume someone's spirit, you are consuming their soul. And they are just gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are dead. But that's... That is also exactly what is happening in the Hall of Echoes, is the gods are just eating people constantly. Yeah. Consuming the bodies is fine, though. Their soul doesn't go with it. Something Correct. like that. Despite the fact that you can get a source point from eating a dead body, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it actually works out because you don't consume the soul. <clears throat> I don't know, they're slurping people's souls. They're doing all of the above. They're chowing down hard. Um, nom, 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 nom. Like, that, that whole vision that people have of, like, eldritch horror and when you die, you're just, like, going into the maw of some horrifying cosmic entity. Like, that's just the gods. That's, that's all it is in this game. Reactive shot, what does that do again? If you step into that area, he will shoot you on that. <laughs> step here, you're gonna get shot. Oh, I'm very far outside. I know exactly the sound that you're talking about, Fox. Oh wow, I can't actually <laughs> jump through there. Interesting. Oh well, I'll get up closer anyways. Yeah, this is one of the few times that it actually takes like roofing into account. Yeah, normally it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, if you're inside a place, then it doesn't care. Like if you're in a cave or something, then it doesn't care. But something like this, where you're actually going into a building, it does care. But there's also been times where we were in a building and we flew over, like we went down into a basement and then flew over mm -hmm. a set of bars or something like that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Like I said, if you're actually inside of a location, like, as I said, in a basement, in a cave, someplace that is not part of an outside map, then it doesn't care. If you're yeah. in an outside map and you step into a building, then it does care. Hmm. Very inconsistent and inconsiderate. How dare. <laughs> uh, do I even bother attacking that one? Or do I just... Like this one has... Zangi, are you going for the alchemist? I had shanked him a bit, yes, but then he fortified. Moved, okay. Can we get some moisture? <laughs> uh, sure. I, I can... can you... Can you put the lotion on the skin where it gets the hose again? Yes. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> they are decaying and kill them. Well, now there's a bunch of steam. Um, I'm gonna end turn here and just save the points for next turn. 
Wait, why does this asshole get to be special, not rotting away? Fortified, uh, I maybe. Think. Yeah, it's fortified. Fortified blocks uh, decaying. Probably on the next round, the fortification will go away. Because the because in combat, the thing basically applies every turn, and so when it comes back around to his turn, it'll it'll attempt to apply it again, so it'll cancel without fortification. Around. Yeah, the gods are just slurping up the soul juice. The gods give it, the gods take it away. They mostly take, honestly. They mo they mostly take, they mostly <laughs> Uh uh hi. Okay. Yeah, all right. But why, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, she used me as a quick way to get up and then to shank you. I don't know. Well, I'm going to fortify myself. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I have a... I can now punch straight through any armor I hit with my perforation. Interesting. Didn't cause for them to be shocked from that. So they're not fortified anymore, but they're also not decaying currently. W why? They sort of throw us into the prep of meteor and pull their friend away. But then they put their friend in the poison and they didn't have earth immunity. Uh, never said they were not smart. Get rid of the <laughs> Who charmed my person? Was that the chief looter? The looter, yeah. Okay. There. Ah! Don't don't charm my people, bitch. <laughs> Run for your life, bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> don't run. You'll only die tired. <laughs> <laughs> the squirrel just gets hit by a meteor. <laughs> God damn it, Sir Laura, are you there? <coughs> evasive maneuvers! <laughs> yes, evasive maneuvers. Quackers, I mean crackers, I mean quirkus. Quirkus. <laughs> oh, lovely. Empowered. What hurted? Stomp the chicken. <laughs> Stomp.
Yep, there is there is a bathtub just sitting there. No, no, not a bathtub, a bath tube. Bath tube. Bath tube. Who the hell of a view? Oh, huh. True. Oh, honey, look at the death fog today. Keep holding the bathtub. Don't let it slip. <laughs> How'd it get you? <laughs> Didn't you hit the looter? It looked like you hit the looter. I did, but it somehow also shocked his Zangi. I don't know. <clears throat> I like how that healing didn't count for decaying. Is that chicken still breathing? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Where? There's Jimkin. I love how their body just explodes in ragdolls when they yeah. come out of chicken form. I was kind of afraid that the that the body would rag all over the edge and just be unobtainable. Rip. I wonder if they took that into account somehow. I bet they did. Just throw his own key into the abyss. That's fair. What? For the uh, death fog, we just throw you down there. Joke's on you. I can fly. Spark something? What was that? Uh, that was the, uh, uh spark, spark striker. Strike. Yeah. Huh. It's a good, it's a good ability. Nice. Hitting and hitting a target will cause a projectile to bounce off of that target and hit another enemy. Those meteors are way out of our jurisdiction. Leave us alone. <laughs> um. Hmm. Immune to Frozen, but got stunned. Okay, well, I missed the fact that they were immune to Frozen, but I'm glad they somehow got stunned. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> I 
bleeding. Mm -hmm. Notice us, Simpais. <laughs> Just soon do your meteors. <laughs> uh, whoa. Oh, okay, so I can only have one summon at a time. All right, that's yeah. good to know. Can I hit the both of these? It's so hard to tell. I think right there I'm hitting the both of them. Uh, but I'd all say eh, Fox is fine. Nice. Immune to poison, apparently. Ah, uh, okay. That one did grant Earth immunity to himself and then teammates mm. but earth earth isn't earth. poison so never mind right the five elements air earth water uh fire and poison <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah fox it, it wasn't so much a matter of o view it was just having to fucking see whether or not it was actually targeting stuff Elven Tribal Customs, a discourse, a volume of Elven Tribal Customs. It details how one particular woodland proving ground uh, seems like an especially dangerous place. Eyewitness accounts mention clouds of fire and lightning seen from afar. The instances where the earth was found uh, to be drenched, uh, and instances where the earth was found to be drenched with blood and even frozen in places by those who dared to venture closer. Hmm. Volume by Elven Society Customs. Ancient ritual oh, not shit. witnessed since before the Great War. How fiery and stormy clouds were often seen above the ritual site, yeah, and that afterwards the ground was sodden with blood and frozen in places, despite the warmth of summer. Uh, the author concluded by saying that there is little proof to support these anecdotes. Uh, funnily enough, I think we did that. <laughs> yeah. There's not enough proof to support these anecdotes. Never mind the elven totems in the in the area. They don't matter. Uh, this mace is six to seven poison, thirty-six to thirty-seven physical. It's a strength-based thing, so I'll send it to Fox. Silly book of blanks. Raid! Nikki! Oh, okay. Hello, thank you for the raid! How are you doing? Okay, so th this is like a Mad Lib. Oh, yeah. The last playing in Inuit. Inuit? In out. <laughs> The cow adventure's going great. This particular cow wants to see everything around it burn. Wants to see everything burn. Yup. Don't mind us, we're just standing in the fire. It's because we're so hot. <laughs> A new horror game like Devour? Ooh, nice. You're still listening now. Okay. Look at the cow askins. Your kind has been dismembering and burning mine since time immemorial. I must admit, the smell of charred human flesh is so very enticing. Oh. If you can find a bucket, sure. Consider it my last offering to a dying race. Hmm. Okay. If you can find a bucket. Yeah. I think I had a bucket at one point. I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, it, didn't you wear a bucket as a hat at one point? At the beginning of the game, yeah. 
<laughs> so at one point you had a bucket. Yeah, yeah. Is there fucking fireworks being fired off outside? What the fuck? Sorry, there was like loud fucking uh, pops going on outside. I think it's actually my brother showed up. He's just very loud when he opens his uh, his truck's door. Oh, hey, there's a waypoint to Paradise Falls. Mm-hmm. I found some dead magisters I'm going to go poke. Hey. Okay. Paradise Downs, not Falls. Yeah, I keep I kept thinking it was it was called Downs. Paradise Falls, rather. Now I'm getting the actual name fucking confused. I, I think Welcome. Paradise Falls is the thing from the movie Up? Maybe. It's also a thing in uh, Fallout 3. Yeah. Almira's Hideout. Do you know who Almira is? Uh, not the top of my head. Hmm. Like, it sounds moderately familiar, but... Yeah. Al Almira? Almira. Almira. No problem, Nikki. Thank you for the raid and for the lurk. first appears in this region, so no, we don't know them. <laughs> Bunch more dead magisters up here. Fun. Black ring. Oh, she's black ring. That's different. I thought it was. I thought it was a sorcerer. That they're black ring. That's that's a completely different story. Oh yeah yeah yeah. There's there's a person in there. They don't look like their black ring. A holly. Mm, no, she, she, no, no, she looks, she doesn't look like she's black ring. Don't worry, I'll keep watch. Izongi, we, we need you to, to, uh, come and talk to these people. <clears throat> Blade is under your chin. A guest. How brazen of you to enter without knocking. The press of the blade encourages you further into the room, then retreats. You turn to face a woman in black ring robes. Oh, okay. Pale and vividly beautiful, wearing a smile that's somewhere between impish and cruel. Perhaps I'll give you a chance to explain yourself. Uh, let me see what her stats are here. Her wits is 25, her memory is 28. She lowers her weapon and gives you a curious look. Not because of your response, though. She's noticed something. You're no ordinary traveler, are you? You're positively weak of source. Are you the one responsible for this mayhem surrounding us? Let's let's not put her <laughs> nerves to the test. <laughs> and whoever turned this stretch of cow country into a death-filled valley is likely to be powerful enough to help you. Is that what you thought? 
Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Someone who wouldn't turn down a good thing when it comes to them. How about a little deal? You help us, and I'll show you how to make true use of swords. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. I don't know if I trust Black Rang. True. Gestures to where I, young let's is up on a cot let's in a see what's going on. His shoulder bound in layers of crimson soaked wound dressing. This is Mahali. We absconded together. I from the Black Ring and he from the Magisters. We fell for each other while I was his prisoner. Love will set you free. So they're ex Black Ring and Magister? Mahali put himself at great Seems like it, yeah. Magister captivity. We made it clear, but he picked up quite a nasty wound. We found refuge in this charming hamlet. Charming. But then, well, I'm sure you saw for yourself. The landscape tore itself open. Void Woken appeared, and a shroud of decay fell over us. It's preventing Mahali's wounds from healing. Maybe just get out of here, then. <laughs> right. so, I mean, they were surrounded by death and destruction, so, you yeah. know. remove the decaying shroud so Mahali can heal. Help us, and I'll help you. Thoughts? I'm honestly, I'm okay with helping them. If she turns out to be a traitor and uh, like to to just be using Mahali, uh, the, and like turns at some point, we can kill her. If we fortify, it clears the decay for a little bit, right? For like a few, yeah, like a few seconds. Yeah, I I say we help. Please. Clear the way so that we can head south in the direction of the coast. The north is too dangerous. It crawls with Voidwoken. Okay. Once you've helped Mahali and I pass freely, once we're truly clear, I'll give you what you want. Her eyes speak volumes. All that you want. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Um, I am interested in the decaying shroud. Yeah, agreed. Wise, perhaps. Its effects seem to be stronger to the north. I'd start looking there. Yeah. Yep. Can do. There's a ma there's a magister ghost. There this is, area is pretty That's big. Good. It's yeah, it's huge. This is like a. I, I hesitate to call this a dungeon, but it's essentially what it is. Yeah. There's like a bunch of Augmenter over here. Yeah, I saw that. High quality Augmenter. Ooh. I have some Panic at the Disco music stuck in my head right now, and it's just like this one chorus track Ooh. playing on repeat. Uh, I think we found the source. Oh! Harbinger oh, of Doom! A bunch of zombie magisters and a Harbinger of Doom. It looks like one of Duna's pets on meth. I know, I know right? Even the portrait's butt ugly. Resistant to fire and poison. Uh, somewhat resistant to water. Right. And the, the For... zombies will heal off of poison as well. Right, but like... Somewhat resistant to earth, but like everything else they take extra damage to. Okay. Uh... Fire especially. And then, yeah, Harbinger of Doom, best to use air and earth against. Yeah. Okay. I can, I can do a couple. In their face. <laughs> so, is this something that we want to talk with the Harbinger of Doom, or do no, we jump it? It's... This thing is uh, in attack mode. Yeah, I... Well, some things that are in attack mode will still talk to you when you get up to them, but yeah, I, I have a feeling it's just instant combat. This, this is, like, the boss of this area. Okay, so, um, let me get up high. There, there's like a spot here that I think I can jump up to. Okay. Um, 
which might bring me in range and then start the combat, but... Being, yeah, I think unless we can get up here, then we should be careful. Yeah, if you all want... Here, let me see if I could fly up there. I can't teleport up there. I cannot from where I'm currently at. Uh, yeah. if you come over to where I am, you can teleport to there. Ooh, oh, yeah, I have good. one little spot that I can get up there. Okay, so if the combat starts, I could try and fly up there once... Once we're ready to go. Yeah, I can... Three... Oh, I have three turns for being able to recall flight, so... <clears throat> okay. Yeah, save just so that we don't have to run all the way back over here. I I did. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready whenever. Yeah, there's two little areas up behind it as well, but I wonder if it's going to retreat those. Probably. Yeah. Potentially, but there's also oil barrels in there, I think. There's an oil barrel in one. I wouldn't mind being able to give my... Uh, incarnate earth uh, infusion, but I think ultimately air infusion is going to be best for it. Uh, go ahead, Fox. I, I think you're good. Okay. I got pulled into the fight, so I'll I'll do the movement on my turn. Ah. Never mind. I it went up there. I got pulled into the fight as well. That's cool. Harbinger's Forgiveness. It just created another uh, zombie. Up oh, above interesting. Box is taking. Oh my god! Oh, what the. Um, I think I'm going to put you into cryogenic stasis. Yes, yeah, so nine action points. It yes yeah, started with now after this, it'll have four every round. Yeah, it, it, took, it like, started. It it started off having a whole bunch of action points, but every round it'll just get four like the rest of us. Hopefully the heal from that doesn't cause damage. Um, I can Rip. fortify on my turn. This fox should have one round uh, under permafrost. I'll stay up here. Um, it should extend the resurrection range, so if people need to be resurrected, I've got quite a few scrolls on me for that. Before I use all my actions, yeah? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I cannot. I don't have I, anything that breaks physical. I can. I can break the physical armor on a couple of those with Ricochet. But it's it's going to be a little bit before it gets to my turn. Oh, yeah. Life swap would be... Hell, life swap used on the Harbinger would be amazing. So it looks like you didn't heal, but you also... You didn't take damage, but you didn't heal either.
Yeah, Kanuta, if you fortify, I can just focus on healing Fox. It'll only last for a round, but yes. I, maybe I can use uh, 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 first aid. Yeah, if, if you... It's, it's until the end of Fox's turn, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could heal and I could heal. If you sneeze, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, you could maybe switch with the... No, you would die from the burning. Hmm. Yeah, on Fox's turn, Fox is gonna die. If we don't get some healing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Love grenade! Love conquers all! Charmed. The zombies are just like, oh, please to make your acquaintance. Only immune to decaying, not immune to chicken. Can I heal? Yes, I can. All right. It's not much, but there's something. It didn't kill you. Yep. Uh, let me see. That other zombie is attempting to make his way up to me. So let's put something directly in your path. Fox, are you wanting to life swap with the Magister Inquisitor in front of you? Or should I heal you? Resisted by physical. Okay. Yeah. But the one in front of Fox doesn't have physical. Fox oh, is never dead. mind. It is a moot point. I I will worry about resurrecting Fox. Okay. Oh, well, here's hoping the two shamblers in front of me actually be useful. I'm gonna slap the shit out of that one over there. They they should I mean they they can climb this surface, so we'll see where they go. Yeah, the harbinger just absolutely fucked you up. Yeah. It dealt a lot of elemental damage was was the main issue. It was just fuck you in particular. There we go. Stunned. I now have direct line of sight with the Harbinger, so, you know, this'll, this'll be fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the zombies have low movement, so they use it all getting there. Yeah, I think they're also chilled, which slows them down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, that, that'll lower their movement for sure. Yeah, they're just charmed. Oh, yeah. Well, they would have been chilled on their turn still because it's chilled for two turns. And Charmed yeah. is also for two turns, but they took one turn walking over to you, so it's offset by one. Locked by magic armor. Gotta read those descriptions. It just keeps smacking the green noxious bulb in front of it, which doesn't do much. <laughs> All right, Fox, I'm putting you up here. I'll yield to none. And then... That to you. Yeah, I saw that. It'll probably decay you on your turn. Mm -hmm. that, that's probably what's gonna happen. 
Well, I've nearly broken Chicken Boy's armor. Nice. Through sheer force of Angie Spider. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep there you go. I feel oh, like hey, it's random, start of turn. Random treasure chest. Oh, nice. I feel like it's if start of, uh, at start of turn. If not the cane, you are now the cane. Yeah. And when it's not in combat, it's like whenever the um, turn timer is. Like there, there's some sort of like global turn thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a couple of things happening. Life swap is touch range. Oof. If you fly over there, it should be fine, right, Fox? <laughs> But they also oh, have 13 that's... physicals still. That's It'll be weird. gone my turn. That is something else. I'm gonna kick his ass. <coughs> oh, wow. It hits twice? Why? Apparently? Um. He just keeps creating zombies all the way next to you. Apparently. Okay. Why'd this one gain back magic armor? Uh, was it frozen? No, it was... Um... Uh, it was stunned, it was so that's stunned. Why. Okay. okay. Yeah, because it has six points of perseverance. Gotcha. Healing hurts them, right? Hurts them, yes, but not not the Harbinger, I believe. Yeah, the Harbinger is not undead, so it will not. It will just get eaten. He's completely immune to fire. Uh, no, they got healed. Really? Yep, Dead Did Magister got healed. Dead Magister Knight. Okay, then that is weird. Yeah, it says they're undead. Yeah. So some sort of pseudo und undead? Wait, like, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like sometimes you think there's rules to this game, and then they're like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a completely unique thing that you have not seen the archetype for, uh, in the past. <laughs> More damage. And even more damage. And then. Bam! That one was a real good hit. Ballistic shot plus five percent damage for every meter by which it travels. It traveled twenty-eight meters. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting his ass river stomped. <laughs> He's getting his ass river city stomped. <laughs> Harbinger of Doom, but the Doom is for itself. You would think it would have seen that, Torp. Yeah. <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Are you not able to, to fly over there, Fuzz? There's apparently not enough room because me and the spider. If you're able. It also might just be elevation. If you're able, can you teleport to there?
Yeah, we're just going down there. <laughs> I keep stealing Fox's source. Well, oh no, okay, you, don't so, get, you ain't getting away from me that easy. So it didn't want to attack because atrophy was gone. Okay, so atrophy might might work even on those who don't have weapons. Weirdly enough. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go atrophy his arms again. <laughs> I'm gonna rip your arms off and beat you with them. <laughs> I'm just unlocking these ones over here. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad idea. Like, it takes my full turn to do it, but just... <laughs> It keeps them down and keeps them away from the other people. Exactly. That's, that's pretty valuable. That's exactly what my Incarnate's doing, is he's just locking down a bunch of zombies. I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How Which I... I cannot wait for two things uh, in the um, Starship Troopers games that are... Uh, in Starship Troopers Terran Command, the um, they're they're working on a map editor. I can't fucking wait for that. Nice. Because I'm I'm expecting to see the kind of uh, like community uh, brilliance that. Um... Oh God, Fox! What's the name of the game where you're fighting water physics? Uh, Creeper World. The the kind of community brilliance the creeper world inspired uh but there's also a 12 person co-op uh starship troopers game uh that's that's being made and it it looks so good yeah the fps builder i'm nice. i'm so looking forward to that Hmm. I've become very disingenuous with, uh, or disenfranchised with trailers. Most of the time they show all the pretty, and then when it gets around to it, it's so Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. A lot of trailers have been letdowns. The only ones that I think look look really promising has been the live a live trailer and then the uh the fps builder starship troopers game because the the starship troopers one like they actually show gameplay so that one's been pretty good yeah showing gameplay like it's not something very often done unfortunately but like if if they show actual gameplay it makes me feel instantly better about it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, even if it's... Like, there, there's this thing that apparently for showing, really? like... Really? It's advised for trailers to, like, remove, like, the UI elements. Like, you can show the gameplay, but remove the UI elements. Like, I think that's bad advice, but also... Yeah. I'm just the player and not a game developer so what do i know you know so yeah <laughs> or, or the you're, marketing you're the, team more of so you, you are the consumer of the product what do i what do you know right <laughs> how did my spider go from here to here don't question it hmm. <laughs> just fucking burrows straight down and through the mountains and up through the <laughs> tower again just very carefully you know yeah, no, I, I do agree with you, Fox. They need to show screens or something that shows their UI. Because, yeah, you've you've been right with your estimation on a lot of games that have been, like, 
uh, suggested to you in your server is if they don't show UI, they don't turn out well. It, it just does not turn out. You, you've been on point with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a giant chicken. That is a very big chicken. Oh, look at this lad. Oh, lad, he coming. I mean, he was already a big enough chicken as it was. Yeah, 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 but... <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> Finish it, Fox. Finish it. I don't know if he can. He used a lot of stuff to get here. You're dead? It's burning to death. Uh, you're fine for a round. We can we can get to you. Just just kill it. <laughs> That's enough Jimkin from the whole village. Erase it from existence. <laughs> uh, not fire. It's immune to fire. Yeah. Just just do what you can. Izangi can finish it off on on his turn. If you have. Yeah, if you have flight, if you come over towards me, I can um, heal you up quick. Oh, no more yeah. protection. That ought to help. Yeah. You oh, the chicken wouldn't do way. anything. Um. Uh. Hmm. I. Can I. I. The thing that I want is to watch the zombies trip on the ice. <laughs> it would be hilarious if they did. Fortified. And then... 216... 270... We'll do this. Zombies on the ice musical. <laughs> <coughs> zombies on ice. The next hit single from the sunflower that sang zombies on your lawn. Um, this one is uh, just running away from me? Okay. That's not what I expected for it to do, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, Izangi. Finish this. Yeah! Nice. And the decaying shroud goes away. We are free. Nice. Oh, wow. It right is so much ass. brighter. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You're going to get stabbed in the ass. <laughs> Don't run. Um, let's see. Have just taking a nap. It sure. should just a little bit EP. It has four arms. Now that I looked at it. I I love the voices that they gave to these zombies. It. Reminds me of the ones from, uh, not from, uh, the, the zombie game that, what was it, uh, the Sniper Elite team made, Nazi Zombie Army. So good. Have you seen those games, Crystal? No, I have not. Oh, they're so good. They're, they are, like somewhat comedic horror games uh where like they they took a premise and realized how absurd it was and just went with it <laughs> uh the idea was that near so the sniper elite series is based in the world war ii yeah um and they took the idea that near the end of world war ii as hitler's bunker is being shelled and uh is is germ um, not Germany, the capital of Germany was being closed in on all sides by the Allies. Uh, Hitler did not commit suicide. Instead, he made a deal with the devil to raise the dead into zombies. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, and it's, it's really good. Because they will, 
you will be a sniper dealing with hordes of zombies in front of you, and it it gets really intense. But uh, like they just went full tilt on it. Um, it was it was super good. Uh, they had um, kamikaze zombies that were just that were just uh, Nazi soldiers uh, with dynamite sticks strapped to them, but they would like they would be screaming as they ran forward, and it's just like the screams of the damned running at you. It's actually kind of unnerving. The screams of the damned. I cannot jump to this chest for some reason. Uh, Fox can bring it to you. <laughs> this is kind of gross. Well, stop eating it then. No one's forcing you to eat it. Thank you. Freezing arrow, gold, impalement scroll. You're expecting it to be red guts, not green. No, they're zombies. I expect it to be green. Well, those weren't the, the zombies weren't the ones I was eating. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I was about to say the dead swordsman that was here was not raised among the dead. Bunch of stranded merchants over here. Is this one of the edges of the map? Because it's not really letting me move the camera any further this way. That is that is an edge of the map. Yep. Okay. Actually, what am I doing over here? We need to go talk to Almira. And be like, hey yo, we uh we we ended the decay. Yeah, we we took <laughs> care of it, friend. We did the same. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me a lot. This was a <laughs> pain in the ass. <laughs> back, back, back this way, is Anki. Yeah, uh, there was a go. chest I was looking for. Yeah, I know, but let's let's. There's a bunch of NPCs over there, so let's let's go uh, talk to Almira first. So, as something of a of a little spoiler, uh, but not for a storyline that we have to that we can actually do anything with. Uh, somewhere around here is part of the Red Prince's story. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, his bride is somewhere around here. Oh, interesting. That lingering rot is gone from the air. That lingering rot is gone from the air. The wake's been lifted. I understand it perfectly. It's an obstacle that I overcome with some frequency. <laughs> I, yes, I like her. If you want my bones that close. <laughs> she wants a bone, that's for sure. <laughs> I am a succubus. Love See? is my power. It enthralls those who I seduce and feeds me yet more power. It is through this aspect of myself that I must reward you. You realize that her hand is caressing your arm. She gazes at you intently, untroubled by the feel of your undead physique. Her eyes are oceans of violet. You could get lost in them. You have my word, though. I will not use my powers to make you my thrall. Just as I hope you won't use what I show you to become some sort of tyrant. Interesting. I am interested the pleasures in of the both. flesh are behind you. <laughs> I, I'm interested in that response, but I'm also interested in what Mahaley would think. Is Mahaley a thrall? Or do they genuinely love each other? Are you able to save at this point so we could see both conversation options? Uh, yeah, one second. Loza twin. Yeah, kinda. Okay. Mahali understands who I am. That's why we're meant to be together. No, no, okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Power is a pleasure unto itself, my dear. Believe me, I know. 
Let's see if we can put some life into you. She kisses you. She demands. Suddenly she's all blinding light and come hither heat. You enter her heat, thrust upon thrust, until she scores, and with a scream, her nails digging for blood, all becomes an echo of the primal soul, a burst of overwhelming white. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. That's a lot of calcium there. <laughs> my, my. That was intense, wasn't it? <laughs> Torpin chat. That's definitely a sex scene. <laughs> you were ever so satisfying, though. Please. Accept this little token of appreciation for your effort. Once you've caught your breath, I actually have another little request for you. You have helped me to escape immediate danger, but I remain a fugitive from my old life and the promises I made to it. Hmm. The Black Ring swear allegiance to a powerful being. The God King. The God King. This is not a mere oath of duty. This is the covenant. And those who accept it are bound to the God King. They are sworn. I am sworn. You have to understand, Lucian's death fog broke us. We were left defeated, leaderless. And then the God King started to speak to us. He offered victory, immortality, anything we desired in exchange for loyalty. How could we refuse? Yeah, I mean, they already pledged themselves to Damien once. Why wouldn't they pledge once themselves to another God King? Mm -hmm. There is no escape. Your life is the God King's. Fail or betray him, and you are doomed. Unless you find a way to break the Covenant. That is where you come in, my dear. I discovered the existence of ancient implements called sworn breakers. Oh, hey, I got a thing they for that. They are to be able to break any magical pact, including the Covenant. Interesting. And while enslaved by the Magisters, I noticed a tablet in their excavation Yep, site I've got that one. Nice. It bore markings that looked very similar to how these sworn breakers were described to me. She smiled, fixing those violet eyes upon you once again. Will you retrieve it for me? Not her thrall, it will not do it. <laughs> when I have selfless acquaintances <laughs> such as yourself. By the by, a black little birdie told me you have a ship along the shore. That is where we'll go. Okay. Enjoy a bit of sun while we wait. So we'll find them again on the boat. I love how they speed walk out of there. <laughs> yeah, they are and just now they're on gone. The yeah, they are just gone. Okay, so there's 88 physical, 19 magic armor, uh, but... 10 water resistance, gloves, one thieving, 50 or plus 50 health. Nah. Uh, hair skin boots, 19 physical, 88 magic, 10 water resistance, plus two initiative, uh, plus 0.5 movement, uh, required intellect three or 13. Observant hood, fifty-five or fifty-two physical, thirty-five magic, two wits, one scoundrel, one summoning. Belt of virtue, seventy-two physical, plus one telekinesis, plus one sneaking, or plus seven percent dodging. Uh -huh. Those are the options for things I could pick. None of the, like, ability stuff was super interesting to me. I might look at it from, like, just a pure stat standpoint. What are the types of items? Uh, telekine or the belt has telekinesis and sneaking and dodge. Uh, it, <laughs> sorry, uh, is, is it a, a necklace? Is it a ring? Like, what, what things are there? Belt, helmet, uh mage shoes and basically leather gloves okay my helmet is only 10 and 8 
10 physical, 8 magic. But do you have 13 finesse? Um, yes, I do. Hold on. It's from gear, which is from the helmet. Okay. <laughs> so, no, I can't use that helmet. Maybe we just take the most expensive thing and <laughs> get... <clears throat> We're going for most expensive. That would probably be. Uh, it's between the belt and the helmet. Although the belt is actually better physical to me. Yeah, if there's something you want, go for it. Uh, if, if not, then I'd say the most expensive thing to get the best value. Uh, I'll lose a bit of bartering thieving, but. Give me a little bit of more dodginess. Patty fell in the ravine. Is the cow with a chest somewhere? Yeah. Not that I can tell. Oh, hey, I found her. Her? Uh, the, the lady I was talking about, the Red Prince's Bride. Oh. I am on my way. Yeah. Turns. Hello, person walking around. Menacing bodyguard. <clears throat> Is it fine that I'm walking up this way? Yeah, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Just didn't want to interrupt something, you know? Nah, you're, you're fine. Okay. Wrong. I like both of their designs. Their designs are really cool. Like, I know the one, it's their armor, but, like, still, I like it. Yeah. You spy a lizard lady dressed in the royal colors of the House of Law. She nods at you politely, but remains quite silent. You notice her skin is a bright red color. Say that you know a lizard is as distinctively red as she is. A sudden intensity darkens her onyx eyes. If you truly know him, you will be so kind as to bring the Red Prince to me. With haste. That's with whom you have the honor. I am Sada. Three words that must suffice, it seems. There is no further explanation forthcoming. Okay. Right. Yep. So, how do we mention that uh, the Red Prince is dead? We don't, apparently. Tell it it's right, then take your leave. No. <laughs> the beast Rude. chews thoughtfully. Nah. No point moaning. You take what you get and you don't get upset. Am I right? I am right. Still. Thanks and all. It turns away. Disinterested once more. Disinterested versus uninterested. <laughs> yeah. This, this giant beast is basically carrying a throne. Why are the male lizards so tiny? 
Because because the lizards know better. Tall women. <laughs> uh, stranded merchant and stranded way. merchant's bull. Uh, I have a soundboard thing I could have used, but <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't mind a soundboard thing every once in a while, but when people use it a whole bunch, <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing was, what is it? Ah, here it is. Big lady. <laughs> <laughs> Big lady. Ask the bull you. what happened here. Ooh. Passed me a whole bunch of stuff. I can't. I can't carry anymore. Hold on to it for a bit. My inventory is like chock full because of all of these uh, these skill books. So I I can't take anything else for a bit. I can hold sure, sure. about twenty pounds of stuff. On account of Paddy's really good at it. There are dead boy no. in front of this mill. Patty and fell in the ravine. Uh, if I had to guess, this is the Lone Wolf camp. Yeah. Well, howdy there. Nice to see a fresh face among these dour saps. Yep, definitely so Lone Wolf camp. But so it is. But these things never last forever. Yeah, hundred percent. blow over, or the fireworks in Paradise Downs will cool off. You'll see. We'll be right as rain before too long. Um, this guy has some resurrection scrolls, has some potions, uh, including huge healing potions and one giant magic potion. <laughs> you, small man, what do you have for sale? Uh, I do have 8,000 gold. You said one of them has resurrection scrolls? Uh, this one here. Okay. Next to the bull. Got it. And they're in perfect hugging range of you. Huzzah. Yeah, if I can, I'll buy a bunch of huge healing potions as well. Split those up amongst people. How much does huge do? Uh, 650. Okay. Oh my goodness, the giant one's like literally extending off the it edge. <laughs> yep, it is massive. I think... Fox is really the only one that needs the giant ones. Maybe. Okay, send me the stuff you have to sell. Okay. Send. Send. Uh, yeah, we'll send this. <coughs> Wands, you're just selling those? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All, all of it. It's all good. Um, Fox, I have some boots. Uh, I'm assuming you don't need them. Eighty-eight physical, nineteen magic. Old booties. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll wear this. And then. I think that's about it for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, this is the sawmill that we said we wanted to get to. Yes. But we're probably not doing that tonight. No, no. we don't have time tonight. We'll I clear the entire place in eight minutes flat. <laughs> How many resume erections skills do I have? Resume erections. Ah, I have 17. Nice. That, that is quite a bit. <laughs> I haven't I died, have so I haven't had much need to use them. I have 19. But I also have been splitting them up between people, too. <laughs> this mask seems a bit unnecessary for a bone face like myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I sent you six more scrolls of resurrection, Crystal. Thank you. I now have ten total. Yeah, Fox, we'll we'll be ending it very soon. We still also have to find the elves that uh, are supposed to go rescue Sahela. Because I, I feel like that's supposed to be this act. Hmm. Okay, Lisk is saying lumber mill area. Okay, cool. I don't think there's too much more uh, for this chapter, though, right? Nope, not much left. There is the lumber mill. There is Blood Moon Island. There is Alice Allison, uh, the witch herself. Uh, there is Grog the Troll. And then there is a thing that will happen at the Paladin Bridge as well. Uh, we should probably go check on that now that once the lumber mill is cleared, we should go check on the Paladin Bridge. Okay. Oh, and uh, the dock down in the Black Pits, and we still have to deal with Riker as well. Mm, true, yeah, yeah, So, some, some little stuff all over the place and, like, two areas left to explore. Yeah. Um, I will be available on monday for playing but i start on call uh next week thursday so unfortunately it's uh it'll be a little bit of a break after that okay or you know for two but, sessions but crystal we already took half a month off i know right <laughs> <laughs> how could you do this to us this scheduled thing that we knew was going to happen i can't believe yeah. you um actually <laughs> a, a a new person like somebody moved from the uh india team to the u.s team uh they uh immigrated uh and uh so that means uh there's actually one more person in the on-call schedule so it'll be eight weeks apart instead of seven weeks apart nice that's yeah. pretty good all right well I have saved the game, uh, so we are clear to end off our streams. Yeah, sounds good. It was fun playing with everyone. Yeah, it was good to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I cannot wait. Uh, I had put my, uh, my schedule in in my server, uh, but this starts my debut return. Nowhere near that that special <laughs> just uh return from my from my hiatus uh from being sick uh but yeah next week we'll start off with divinity and then uh some stuff i'm looking forward to uh tuesday i'm gonna be starting on act razor renaissance and when i'm done with act razor uh i will be playing the live a live remake nice uh, and i and i mean that when i'm done with the whole game of act razor so that'll be sometime in the future uh, and then Wednesdays, I'm starting a Chaos Dwarf campaign on Total War Warhammer 3. So that ought to be fun. But yeah. How about you, Crystal? What have you got going um, on? So basically, my streams right now are uh, Divinity Original Sin and then um, Breath of the Wild. It's my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild. All right, nice. Um, and then, of course, uh, for separate YouTube videos, I, I do a lot of Super Auto Pets. I like Super Auto <laughs> Pets. Well, I hope you're having fun with Breath of the Wild. I am oh, so far, for... yeah. I'm about 12 hours in? Not 9 or 12 hours in. Um, hmm. 
it's three streams, so nine hours in. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's a really good game. I just I, I don't have a Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Valid, yeah. But yeah, all right then. Everybody on my side and everybody else, I will see you all later, all right? Yeah, Bye. see you all later. Bye-bye. And yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did and you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on the streams in the future. Uh, maybe hit that bell icon. I think that's what the YouTubers are supposed to say. And yeah, I will see you all on Sunday for some more Breath of the Wild. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.